Hello, welcome, welcome to the round nine commentary of the candidates, both for open and women's station. I'm your host, International Master Irene Sukandar, and as usual, I'm joined by my amazing co-commentator, International Master Laura Unuk, and we also have two guest commentators, Grandmaster Felix Bloberger and Grandmaster Hari Krishna Pentala. How are you guys? How are you doing? Yesterday, we had a, such an exciting day at the office. What are your expectations of today's games? Maybe start from Laura? Okay. Uh, yeah, I have big expectations today. It's time for everybody to let loose. And I'm so excited for the matches coming in open and women sections. Mm -hmm. If I had to pick one, uh, Firuja versus Nepomniachi. Ooh, Firuja versus <laughs> Nepomniachi. Okay, we have Laura's favorite game of the day, even before it, was, it is being played. Uh, let's hear it from Hari. What's going to be your, I, I don't know, your prediction of today's matchups? Uh, hello everyone and uh, today I I would go with uh, Gukish versus uh, Prague. Mm -hmm. uh, if, uh, I, I I mean very interesting matchup and uh, Prague uh, both of them will uh, you know throw punches at each other and uh, I'm expecting a very interesting battle there. Yes, yes. Uh, I think both of the games that both of you mentioned, I think they're going to be very, very interesting. Yeah, Ali Reza versus Ian, uh, Gukesh uh, versus Pragnananda. We will see the complete pairings just a little bit later. And what about you, Felix? What do you think uh, or what can we predict from today's matchups? Yesterday, we had a few first. Yeah, Fabi's first loss and uh, Tan Zongyi's first loss and also uh, Cornero's first win. Uh, will today be another first for let's say Anna, because Anna Muzichuk is the only one that hasn't scored any victory yet in this event. Or do you have any other thought about the both open and women section? Uh, well, first of all, it's great to be here again uh, with you guys. Um, I really enjoyed yesterday's commentary. And um, about the games, my top picks have already been taken, which are Gukesh against Prague <laughs> and Firuze against Nepomniachi. Um, so... My third pick would be Vidit against Nakamura because uh, Nakamura has shown quite uh, relentless chess, mm -hmm. not not showing any fear. So I think this game will also be very interesting. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree with you. And we know on their previous encounter, um, Vidit won a very beautiful game against uh, Nakamura. So we can expect some revenge coming up from Hikaru's camp, yeah, even though he's going to be playing with black pieces but i think there will be some fireworks as for me i'm really rooting for anna muzijuk this time really just because i'd like to see her uh win her first game in the candidates she has um she has like a few winning games a few winning positions before against lahno against i think fashali but unfortunately she couldn't make it through the end and then uh they agreed for a draw uh, yeah, without further ado, let's see the standings of um, the open section after the eighth round. So we have two players sharing the first place. That's Ian Nepomneci and Gukash. Uh, both had five out of seven. And sharing on the third place, uh, we have Pragnananda and Hikaru Nakamura with four and a half. And Fabio Nakarwana is standing in on the clear fifth place with four out of seven. And Fede Gujarati with three and a half, Ali Reza with three, and uh, Nijat Abbasov with two and a half. Oh, speaking of the win, Nijat and Anna actually, it's it's um they haven't scored any <laughs> any wins yet. So I just realized it also in the open section. We have Nijat. Um what about the pairings of today's we've talked about a few matchups that's going to be very interesting Fidit versus Hikaru that's Felix's uh, pick of the day uh, Gukash Pregnananda is Hari's pick of the day and Ali Reza versus Ian <laughs> it's Laura's pick of the day and we also have Nijat versus Fabio Nakarwana will Fabi bounce back on this round after the loss yesterday we will see and in the women's section there is a little change in the leaderboard. Uh, sharing on the first place, we have three players with five out of seven, sorry, five out of eight. Uh, Tan Zongi, Gorchkina, and Li Tingje. And I just want to highlight about Li Tingje performance here. She scored three consecutive wins um, and those 
put her in the share first. And we have Katrina Lahno in the clear fourth with four and a half, and Salimova sharing the fifth place with Conor Hamby, who scored her first win yesterday with three and a half points. And we have Anna Muzichuk with three and Faisali with two and a half. And let's see what we have on today's pairings for the women. Two experienced players will be paired, Conor Hamby versus Katrina Lahno. Uh, Faisali will be playing against one of the leaders, Tanzongi. And Li Tingjie will be playing against Nurgul Salimova and Anna Muzichuk will be playing against Alexandra Gorchkina. Um, Felix, which one do you think will be the decisive game of the day in the women's section? It's hard to say as usual. Um, I think that Tan Zhongyi will, um, will try for sure since uh, Vaishali, I think she lost um, her three last games, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think she will try to come back as uh, as hard as possible. Um, whereas the other games are concerned, um, I predict most of them to be quite solid. But that's only my prediction. Yeah, I think so too. But I want to ask a question to Hari because I think out of the four of us here, you know Konero better. And she just scored her first win. And I know I've played Konero since I was like maybe 12 or 13. And she was always a very, very good player. And um, how can you tell about her mental strength? Because she just bounced back and then scored her first win yesterday. Is this the sign of, of her coming back and then, you know, somehow sneak her way up through uh, the leadership board? Uh, yeah, I mean, she's uh, she her biggest strength is uh, the way she comes back after uh, loss, and uh, you know she started uh, some tournaments badly, but she always came back in uh, youth or uh, many uh, Asian championships or you know various uh, tournaments which where I saw. Um, and it's too early to say that uh, it's a comeback uh, sort of a victory, but uh, certainly it gives uh, a lot of confidence to get a win, uh, you know, after seven rounds. And uh, she, she uh, for sure will uh, try, uh, you know, take her chances uh, today and get the many games as well. But uh, against Lagno, it's very important as uh, Lagno is just trailing by half a point, if I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. uh, from the leaders. And uh, yeah, certainly the uh, match between Vaishali uh, versus Tan is uh, quite, uh, quite, in uh, could be, you know, like quite uh, interesting because um, on one hand, Tan wants to come back after yesterday's uh, disaster, I have to say. Yep. And uh, Vaishali, after losing three games, okay, we will see how uh, she will come back and uh, fight today. And also, I would like to mention the other matchup between um, Le Chingli versus uh, Nugil Salimova should be uh, also quite interesting uh, because uh, Le is on... Uh, three wins. Uh, yes, three, three wins in a row. Three consecutive yeah. wins. Yeah, so that's uh, that's like very impressive. I have to say, and uh, she uh, she will try to get uh, fourth win uh, today. So I I would say that these two uh, two matchups uh, will be quite exciting. And uh, regarding the openings, it's hard to say what they are going to choose. Yeah, speaking of the openings, ooh, we called it yesterday a few of the openings. We have many quotes here yeah, from London openings, French openings, and we also called a few of the blunders that Harry was yes. in disbelief for quite a mm -hmm. moment there when Fabi just blundered B5. And um, yeah. yeah, it shows how hard the competition is especially when you're already entering the second half of the event yeah and and it already showed okay in the position between the hikari versus uh, fabiano it was clear that hikari was better but usually in any other day um, a player like fabiano would show some more uh, tenacity toward the toward the game and he wouldn't have blundered just like that within one or two moves and then resign yeah he would have continued and on and on but we have a tackle on the board and we can already see a few games and I, I'd also like to mention that whenever the first move starts the game between 
uh, the, all the games that Fidit played, it will always be delayed. So if I'm not mistaken, he does meditation on the board before the game, right, Harry? Yeah, exactly. So I think uh, we can expect one minute or a, a minute or two. Um, uh, yeah, but he, 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 he started. So perhaps I don't know how the delay works with uh, uh, <laughs> most, but uh, this time uh, it was not a big delay. It was not a big deal, yeah. yeah. But it can be a big deal for Fide too, because we've all also seen that um, his time management isn't the best uh, in this event. He keeps uh, putting himself into time trouble. So every little minute, I think it really counts. And we see already on the board right now, um, E4, E5, Knight F3, Knight C6. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, yeah. I'm sorry. Yep. Firuja versus Nepomnia. She can, can we please go to this one first? I'm so sorry, but we see B3 on ah, the second it won't move. Be long. Oh, yes. Okay. Sure. Uh, no. Oh, I think B3 we should start board. with a big bang here because nobody <laughs> could predict. Oh, yes. Yeah. So to... <laughs> before B3. the stream, you were thinking or you were saying that maybe Alirizam will come up with some London, but is this a better choice than London or is it? Yeah, it is probably because uh, <laughs> he already play, used it, used the London, so not, used the London. not surprised anymore. So, yeah. So, um, Adiban can tweet now. <laughs> Adiban can tweet and, uh, you know, make my chessable course. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Um, but their second move B3. So, I don't know if ah, you'll yes, be yes. as happy. But who yes. could have predicted B3 to uh, happen in the first two moves? Maybe not even Ali Reza himself. <laughs> Maybe he, he just comes up with the move on the board. Like, oh, what, what do yeah. I have to play today? Ah, okay, let's just play double Fanchero. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. I just wanted to cover that because uh, my jaw dropped when I saw B3. I thought it was a mistake, but um, I guess this is a serious opening to Harry. Yes, yeah. for sure. <laughs> Have no. you, okay. Has anyone? <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's a serious opening if uh, you transpose into the ready structures, right? Mm, because it yes. uh, it will eventually yeah. go into some kind of ready structure. Yeah, with the C four also maybe you know it yeah. can also be something like that. Yeah, something like this or without C four even. Yeah, I mean. What I like about this opening, sometimes I also play it just for the blitz games. Um, it's, it's almost like London. Yeah, I don't have to think for the next 10 moves. I just play double Fianchetto, castle, and then how to move my pawns. That's it. And and um, But I don't think this type of position or variation will come up on a, on a game in the candidate. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I I think uh, we did Nakamura. We might see G5. Uh, yeah. Some kind of G5 or G6. That's the key point. Okay, let's wait, wait. Uh, switch if, back. If we can switch to yeah. this is Felix game pick of the day. So yeah. Oh yeah, H6 is already there or G6 maybe. Yeah, G G5 or G6. Let's uh, let's take. Let's 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 have a quick quiz among us. Yeah, right? I'll go for yeah maybe G6, poll G6. too. Yeah, chat chat should also chat choose yeah, G5 <laughs> or G6. <laughs> yes, because um I'll switch back to the starting position just to see it from the start but yeah. let's let's have a quick quiz among us yeah it will be for me it will be g6 laura what what's your pick g6 or g5 um well g5 i yeah <laughs> felix i'm gonna agree with laura g5 uh and harry g5 g5 oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay maybe chat will be siding me <laughs> choose g6 <laughs> instead of g5 but yeah just a quick um mention here so that the chat can understand um this is the uh, the current trend of the italian oh. openings with the uh three nuts variation like harry mentioned yesterday uh, harry said we will never see this variation on the board oh g5 already played by the way we'll come back to that uh, we will never see this position on the board in the candidates because everyone will be checking on it for sure. So Fidit resorted to the calm move d3, followed by h6, and h6 is already showing the intention that this bishop will uh, try to develop via uh, g7, let it be g6 or g5, that was the quiz that we were having a minute ago. And c3, d6, and castle, and here, yes. Three wins for you guys and one loss for me. G5 already happened on the board. You are more conservative. What to do? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, um, yeah, this, this, I've experienced this play before, but again, 
if white just played a very calm chess and a very solid chess uh, with from I mean you can play it on the center instead of doing h3 would have been a very huge mistake right um then you can just actually let me let me ask her on how to deal in this position as white yeah uh, how to deal with the white pieces here yeah or both or general ideas like what white uh will have to play and what do you think black will play you know just general ideas for both sides well black it's uh, pretty uh pretty straightforward uh, you want to get uh, somewhere G4 in this position. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, white, on the other hand, to uh, either expand on the queen side with uh, B4, A4, or also uh, D4 at some point, you know, to counter these uh, G4 ideas. Uh, but, uh, I mean, it's, uh, I think Vidit is going to think for at least uh, 10 minutes here 10 minutes. Uh, in this position, yeah. Because maybe he didn't expect this, but uh, yeah, I mean, I uh, okay. Usually, Hikaru plays bishop c5 almost yes. all the time, so this must uh, have been a surprise. But on the other hand, you know, it's like last six rounds, and uh, everybody will try something or the other. So yeah, that's right. Okay, uh, as you mentioned, Fidit will think for a while, trying to. Uh, come up with a better uh, or a good strategy for white just to fix her ma uh, his mind on specific strategy let's switch to i think also like almost the battle of the day between gukash versus park nananda um still only five moves on the board but we can try to talk about uh their opening choice so prague is not it's no longer play f5 like what we saw um, in his game against Fidit, but uh, he came back to knight f6, the main line, and d3, and bishop c5. We've seen this variation in a few games already in, in the candidates, both open and women. It seems to be just getting popular and popular. So what are your thoughts about it, Felix? I think uh, Gukas' main point is to avoid the open Spanish, which mm -hmm. uh, Prague, I believe, played in the first round against Firuza, yes. uh, which arises after Castle Knight takes e4 instead of d3. Um, so I guess he wants to avoid these forcing variations and just get a get a long game instead with more positional uh, shuffling. Yeah, yeah. Instead, yesterday we saw this too, right? Which game was that? Was it Nakamura against um, Fabiano? Against Fabi? Yeah, yeah, Nakamura Fabiano. Yeah, it was exactly like this too. Yeah. Oh, what Some a game it was! Castle D6, I think. Yeah, mm? Castle D6. Castle D6. Uh -huh. Castle D6. Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh! I was about to call this. I just saw one game in the women's section. Um, when I saw this one, I was so excited, especially the position of the knight BD7, because in my mind, of course, Bishop C4 is the the main move and so on but but recently i i um i tried to play a more interesting move that is being played by Li Ting J in this game that is rook g1 so just after five moves this move i think promises us a very fighting game in this one because well all the idea is just you want to play g4 followed by g5 and all the attack on the king side so um, I think we have to also keep an eye on this one because this is going to be an interesting match, especially letting you already scored like three consecutive wins. Of course, she wants to prolong it as as much as she can to be the fourth, fifth and and vice versa. Uh, so what do you think about this, Laura? Have you wait? Do you have you ever encountered this type of variation before? Uh, Laura, I think you're muted. Still working on what to do. Let's, uh, yeah. Do you hear me now? Now I can hear you. Okay. Yes, I miss your voice. <laughs> oh, somebody in the chat said that my microphone is very loud. So I, I went uh, on on Zoom and tried to fix it. But I guess I muted myself instead. Ah. Is it? Am I too loud or is it OK? No. I, You're fine it's on okay. my ear. Yeah. OK, sure. Sorry, I, I will not try to scream at you people. I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, 
Um, no, I actually played this Rook G1 idea myself, and, and I try to play it when when I know my opponent plays this opening mm -hmm. without. So I play without C4. So I played Rook G1, and I lost that game uh, because I followed the computer line. You know, I thought you know it's always like plus zero seven plus one. It's all great, but when you play an experienced opponent in these type of positions. Um, it's it's always tricky, but I didn't know Salimova plays this line actually. So is she is she experienced in this? I think not. Felix, have you got any experience in this variation? Not that much either. Um, I I think Rook G one is a nice try. I believe there is also G four instead, which has yeah. um, yes. Yes. this is, uh, kind of uh, pawn sacrifice. Yeah. Um, so it's a common idea. And yeah. Quite dangerous as it turns out. Yes, it's quite dangerous, and we know Litingja is a fighter, and obviously this type of uh, opening move really suits him. Uh, sorry, suits her. But what I'm a bit um, skeptical is Salimova's opening choice because she is the main um, e4 e5 player or a Karakan player. So with this e4 d6, uh, aiming for the modern defense position, or maybe now she's turning it into a Philidor. Uh, it looks like. Yeah, just just I don't know. It's not like her style playing playing this opening. So I hope uh, she doesn't get punished just mm. because of her lack of experience in this type of of structure. But we'll see. G four mm. is already on the board. And well, I think uh, if I am not mistaken, mm -hmm. uh, uh, she played uh, the Petrov defense uh, in two games already against one e four. And Lei herself is uh, Petrov player, so I guess uh, they uh, uh, her team probably suggested to play something else yes. other than the Petrov, and perhaps this is something which you can prepare um, in short time, you know, than some Sicilian or something like that. So mm -hmm. perhaps that's the reason. But I think uh, Lei is not surprised by this opening. I don't think mm. so too. Yeah, I think she's is she's very well prepared um against most of the openings. So yeah, yep. Yeah. And we have what do we have? I, I was just trying to find like if we have like a pretty interesting. Um, oh, we have Berlin. Oh, the, I think uh, okay, let's go to let's go to Anna Mozicu yes. versus Goryachkina. It will finish pretty fast. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we have this Berlin. Um, the gambit in Berlin. How do you call it actually? It's a uh, rookie one Berlin. Rookie one Berlin, just like <laughs> <I mean. laughs> yeah, because we have this one and then takes takes and I yeah I, I always call it like a gambit in Berlin, but I don't really know what is the the exact name for that one. And bishop f4. Yeah. So you think this one will be the first game that finish in today's round? Yeah, Goryachkina will know what to do, and uh, yeah, I think both of them will know what to do, and it will it should end in a draw. Yeah, both of them will. Um, yeah, this 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 has, but there are also some of Grandmaster's games. Like, um, it turns out it turns out it it's going to be quite sharp actually for both sides because um, a sacrifice, and also it's tasting your opponent's memory about uh, how well how well and how deep you know this line yeah but yeah, yeah. I, I agree with you this this might just be over like in the next hour or so mm. uh any interesting any interesting position that you can come up with actually let me try to see it from the multi bird view Okay, let's see it. So, uh, uh, yeah, what's happening in the board between? Oh, okay, we'll switch back to the opposite section. It's fine. I just want to see mm -hmm. what Tan Zhonggu is doing, uh, or she's playing. She's playing. Why Charlie? Yeah. Why Charlie? Yeah. yeah, we can go to that one. Okay. And yeah, it was this all up in with e six and. Mm, okay. And it switched, okay, like a French now, like if you play e5, yeah, uh, yeah e5. Ah, that's why I'm attracted to it, it makes <laughs> sense now. Naturally attracted to the French <laughs> position, yeah? Yeah. Um, ed5, ed5, and this happens on the board, bishop d3, c2, um, c4, bishop c2, bishop d6, castle, and knight e7. 
Yep. So there are there are some similarities between yesterday's uh, Nepo Abasa game and this. Uh, mm -hmm. Just uh, pawn was on C2 uh, in, in yeah. yesterday's game, and then bishop had to go to E2. Whereas yes. here, uh, bishop could move back, fall back to C2. And uh, yeah, we will see bishop f5. Uh, black, I mean, black would like to play bishop f5 and exchange the bishop, obviously. But the idea of b3 still stands here, yeah. Like, uh, yeah, exactly yeah. on this position, maybe you can you can start doing this. Yeah, b3, c takes b3, and mm -hmm. a takes b3, and castle. That's oh, and castle that's... first, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then bishop f5 will be the idea for black, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Looks comfortable for white, I would say. <laughs> for both. For both, <laughs> both actually, yeah. yeah. Because for bishop both. d6 is also a pretty good bishop, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This. Yeah, okay. Promises us of um, a fight between them two. I just hope that Fashali will somehow bounce back because she already suffered three losses in a row, and it's it's a lot. It's a lot, um, especially in this type of event when you get your confidence crushed just because you suffered lots of losses, especially in a row. Oof, it's it's gonna be tough, and they still have to play. Uh, well, with this round, six more games. Um, so yeah, I just hope that that she can really bounce back regardless of uh the final re final standings. It's just that you know, Fashali is always a fighter like like her brother yeah. Nanda. So yeah, my sincere wish for her. And, and uh, we, mm -hmm. maybe we can switch back to Vidit and uh, Vidit versus Hikaru just to see how it develops. So some moves have been played. Yes. So after G5, Vidit didn't take 10 minutes, sorry. 6 minutes, 6, six minutes, minutes, 6 minutes. Okay. <laughs> For the move 9, we 2 And yeah. bishop g7, bishop b3, and a5. Hmm. Felix, what are your thoughts of this? Because, again, this is a legit question again. Um, I was thinking that if you already commit to h6, g5, you would like to continue playing in that direction without really having to bother um, on the other side, like a5 like this. Um, maybe in, on this position, it doesn't really significant much, but it might possess, um, you know, a, re a, a quicker confrontation around before maybe or something like that. If you decided to do long castle, maybe or, you know. So, what are your thoughts? Like when you are um, playing with two directions like this, and your king is still in the center, it looks a bit scary to me. Yeah, a five is definitely strange. Uh, I. It's quite obvious, I think, that Nakamura is probably still in his preparation, and and I think it's still um, been played a couple of times. If I don't misremember, even uh, Sam Shankland played a5, mm. um, and I have quite an interesting anecdote. I was at a at a training camp uh, with um, Vladimir Kramnik. It was like an online training camp. Mm -hmm. And Sam Shankland was also there, and and we discussed this line. And um, Sam tried to convince Kramnik of uh, of a five of the line, but uh, Kramnik, with his um, <laughs> classical understanding, uh, just uh, did not uh, did not want to. He was not convinced, yeah. Yeah, he was he was not convinced. But according to the engines, uh, I think it's it fine. should work out. Yeah, as Harry said yesterday, you can make anything uh, work nowadays with with engines. Wow. And Hari, what, what are you thinking about this position? Well, I mean, it's uh, uh, generally, it, it, uh, before people would laugh at a move like a5, you know, in Italy, <laughs> any kind of position because you're just weakening uh, b5 square. But then uh, uh, engines explained that uh, also stopping the advancement. Expansion of b4, a4 on the queen side uh, is quite important uh, as well. So on one hand, you kind of uh, make uh, b5 square quite weak and uh, also castling long would be quite risky uh, because, you know, potentially b4, uh, b, b takes a5 and white gets uh, mm -hmm. attacked quite fast. Yes. So my, uh, I, I mean, the interesting thing for me is um, if black king stays in the center or uh, you know, if he goes to g8 because uh, obviously I don't expect... Um, black to go uh, castle uh, long, long yeah? here, uh -huh. yeah, um, and uh, also how white is going to develop uh, he, uh, the pieces. 
I mean, without the uh, a4 move, at uh, many times you could go d4, but uh, after a4, e takes d4, c takes d4, and knight b4 kind of, uh, mm. uh, you know, knight can get outpost there. Right. So, they, they, I mean, there are so many different concepts and ideas here, and uh, uh, the most important thing is who is in their preparation, you know. Right. Oh, it answered your question. So yeah, Nakamura exactly. just castle short side yeah. right away. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so... As you speak, actually, you were talking about how back in the day, you know, this move like A5 or A4, you know, it, it was never going to be played anyway. In, and that's, I think, what Kramnik had um, in his understanding. He's a classical player, very old fashioned uh, with the chess approaches. So... I was thinking there might be a very good idea to create or to write a book or a course, you know, like between two generations. This is what we learned in the past, which mm -hmm. is good. But this is with the computer evolution. This is proven to be okay or even like the best move or the best approach, you know, because sometimes I'm still torn within these two ideas. I have my own understanding in certain opening variations or certain uh, middle game techniques, right? But with the current um, computer uh, influence, everything was just being violated. All these principles that I've learned is just being violated. So maybe it's a very good idea, Hari, if you if you write a book in the future, please include something <laughs> like this so I can have a guidance, you know, like, uh, <laughs> I think you should forget about this approach and learn about this approach. So I think it's going to be interesting. Right, Laura? Uh, I mean... <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, okay, no. Yeah, no, yeah, no, I just want to say that one. That's so great. Uh, I would love to read that book. And also somebody in the chat said that sounds like a great uh, book idea for Matthew Sadler, who I was also... just uh, about yeah, to yeah. say, uh, I was yeah, thinking about Matthew me, all the yeah, time. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I think I have to yeah. clip this and then send it to Matthew. Matthew, you have a upcoming book project and please make this as the theme. <laughs> Because, well, he did that for the Game Changer, right? He, yes. he uh, compiled the games of the computer, like, I think there was one in the 1974 even, like a very, very, um, like, home-built computer, like, very, very basic. And then over the years, he just compared all the games to, and what the computer side just, uh -huh. you know, and then it's just becoming stronger and stronger until the, um, up to the point that it's beyond my comprehension. So it, it's good with the computer, but I mean, also we see like so many old fashioned approach and style on, on chess, like in many chess openings as well, that let's say you mentioned about the A4, A5. Back in the day, I agree. People would resort to A6 or A3, right? Because it's just more, um, well, it's, it's more flexible. You don't give any, any square for the outpost for the night. But nowadays we see in many Italian, um, you actually play this A4, A5 willingly without being forced. Yeah. So yeah, this is the approach that I would like to to learn and unlearn actually. The one, the mm -hmm. old approach, unlearn those and then learn the new one. Yeah. So I think we're gonna, Laura, we're gonna be like a stronger chess players if we know these this differences. <laughs> yeah, it's so tough to know. Like I, I love to listen to computers and engines and these new ideas, but somehow when it comes to the middle game, right? you get these weaknesses and especially when you play a stronger opponent these kind of moves are brave moves and are good ideas but if you don't know how to use them well then then you're just worse at some point so yeah like i said i would love to read a book like that to actually know the details and the reasoning behind the engine moves because that's what i'm missing most of the time yes and uh, among us felix is the the youngest, the baby one in this. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe you can speak for your generation. <laughs> like, what what are the things if if make maybe I don't know maybe um, does it relate to you? But what Harry says, um, not only uh, just what he said about a four a five, but um, like from yesterday's uh, commentary as well. There are so many things that okay, if you do this move back in the day, you. People will think that you're a beginner, you're not mature, but now every anything can work. So I think it's it's the it's the uh, advantage to be like in the younger generation because you don't have to learn about all these old approaches that not necessarily good, and then instead you just 
you know, have all the right approaches all the time, whether it looks to abuse on the board, but it is the right approaches. So do you think, actually, do you think learning classics, especially opening classics, yeah, and the uh, middle game technique of the classics, because I don't think it's so much change for the end game. I think it's, it's pretty much uh, evolved only in, around the opening and middle games. Do you think learning them uh, make a significant improvement to your chess career or is computer just do all the work no i would definitely advise uh, anyone still to to learn the classics uh, and i think my generation is still uh, somewhat um they still somewhat know the classics but um mm. people younger than me are probably uh, haven't heard of uh, many of the classics which i think is kind of sad and um i think it should should not be underestimated because nowadays we often see preparation by uh, younger players who see that the computer shows like a 0 50 advantage mm -hmm. and then they stop analyzing um, but when they come to the board then they see that uh, the position is actually uh, not 0 0.50 from a human standpoint so uh, the human standpoint should not be uh, should not be forgotten right yeah and as we see in so many games yesterday also um Harry called it, like, for example, the game between Conor versus uh, Fashali. Conor had like a plus 2.7 position, but still from the human approach of view, it's, it's going to be very tough. Yeah, uh, the practical, mm -hmm. the practicality in the position, it's still going to be very complicated for human to find in order to have a clean win. Computer can easily assess and then find all the right moves. But uh, at the end of the day, it's, it's us, it's our brain who you know, has to work it out. So, yeah, I think, um, but I think the weakness of the older generation is they have too much of human approaches in their mind and not computer. And that's why I think now the younger generation uh, has proven to be like a more efficient uh, generation. So because they don't have this prior knowledge about all the classics or the wrong classics, because I, I'm not saying that all classics are um, bad or good, but you know, if you have the ability to um, differentiate between good classics and bad classics, then it's already like a skill. Yeah. But and then back in the day, we know that oh, Tal is a very great, uh, was a very great tactician, and then sacrificed this and that. But if we actually analyze his games now, he made so many mm -hmm. mistakes, right? But yeah. but I mean, and now we we have lots of uh, uh, great. Tactician as well. I mean, back in the day, it was Ivanchuk with his very great calculator, calculator mind, and now Magnus, and most of these players are also very great tacticians. So, uh, don't you wish to be born later, Harry? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Simple answer. No, because no. I'm I'm a bit jealous of the younger generation these days. They have like all the access to the computer, and they have like I don't know. Just an easier I think approach. you don't have to be because maybe I'm not sure if they're too happy to. <laughs> yeah. But, no, uh, yeah. Uh, but uh, you know, uh, like uh, I uh, I see it this way, like you need to you know, uh, understand some things uh, about classics to, to be able to uh, find a logical explanation in any given um, any position mm -hmm. even uh, with the engine uh, making moves like a5 or something uh, the key point in uh, the difference or the key point is to be open that such a move can be played and afterwards you can easily find uh, why and what is the point of this so the first point is to be open for such a moves uh, exist you know in chess and uh, in this current position so back in those days, it was more like, uh, okay, this move is not possible, that move is very bad, etc, etc. And uh, today, it's like, okay, I see this move, let's examine this move. And uh, what is the point, yeah? Because if you just make A5, and then uh, you say, okay, my computer says uh, uh, whatever, 0 0.3 or whatever, and then you come to the board, you don't understand uh, what is the point of this move. And your opponent plays maybe even slightly worse move and you still don't get it. And that's that's the that's the issue for, uh, let's say, uh, of not understanding the engine's uh, idea. And it's not about the engine's fault, but it's the fault of not <laughs> uh, trying to understand the point why this move is good or bad, whatever. 
and uh, so yeah i mean it's uh, it's really interesting how chess has changed uh, last couple of years and especially the biggest change is after the neural networks uh, um, engines have come um, because uh, it i mean it's it's a long topic but uh, short i mean to put it simply uh, uh, they learn by playing uh, against uh, uh, against uh, many games like millions of games and so on so it's actually what uh, humans were doing uh, for many years because if you notice uh, we play and then we learn and then we play and so on just the point is our um, brain is not having the capacity like or the po uh, computing power like uh, neural networks right so we get tired or <laughs> we can't really keep yeah. going so in a way that's why we can relate to most like this but it's uh, so important to understand the point you know not just the evaluation which i believe that most of mm -hmm. the players are just seeing the evaluation and then they are not going uh, further in that line yeah very very well put hari yeah and yes uh with this help with of computer it's also sometimes uh well from from my personal experience it's uh it's even hard to ask the right question like when the position is being served in front of you okay what is the right question to ask myself to evaluate this one sometimes it's just a bit too too complicated from human's perspective the resulting position that uh, from a variation that the computer has given. So uh, sometimes we resort to the second or third or even fourth pass line just in order to, um, you know, be familiar. Like, oh, this position is is, is easier to understand. So I'll let, let me get it. And I think it's, it's enough. So I think the scale of um, level of these players, especially in the, in the candidates, I think they are very very capable in understanding uh the the best possibility that the the computer suggested to them right and i think mm -hmm. i think now everyone can access the the computer of course but it is again come back to your human skill again in order to comprehend what is the line that the computer has given that can um that can be um understood by your by your brain right because again yeah. like for me i'm okay with the third or fourth best but for these people maybe of course it's not enough they have to come to the first line of the computer and they still have to understand what's going on and then they're able to to understand that so i think that's that's the huge difference uh, between actually mm -hmm. actually uh it's maybe uh, not uh, first best because you know if first best everybody sees the same one so what they are trying to do is even maybe not third best even fifth best or sixth best but to go in deep because then uh, their opponents might not check this one because this is not the best uh, you know it's yeah. not giving any advantage so i guess that's uh, that's one very important thing uh, in this um, okay we should we we need to speak a lot i mean it's a very complicated yeah, it's topic it's a very complicated very topic interesting. <laughs> but uh, yeah we have a lot of moves in uh, uh, you know, I can see in many games, actually. Um, Could I just briefly add uh, to this game? I just checked, and in fact, uh, it was the game Markus Raga against Sh Sam Shankland. So oh, my yeah. compatriot was white, so I, that's why it stayed in my mind, I guess. And it was A5, A4 there, too. So A5, oh. A4, and then uh, did the game go exactly the same way, too? Like Castle here? Uh, no, Sam played Queen E7 immediately. Queen E7. Okay, so it's kind of like, is it like a waiting move, but in the end you'll you'll do the short castle anyway, or? Actually, in the game, he, he castled long even wow. later on. Uh, so that's okay. another idea. Maybe you played in the same tournament, Harry. It was 2020 in, in Prague Masters. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I did yeah. play. Uh, I forgot, yeah. I see. So yeah. uh, can you show me just a few moves after Queen E7, just to compare? Yeah, the game the continued ideas. Queen E7, Knight C4. Uh -huh. Bishop e6, knight e3, and queen d7. Queen d7, I see. Ah, yes, rook, yes. Rook e1, and now d5. Rook e1 and? D5. 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 Wow, okay. That was their aim. Yeah, he was prepared. For... Mm -hmm. yeah. And how did the game go? Like, uh, 
Did it you? was um, it, it was a draw in the end. It was a draw in the end, but it's a fighting draw, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, well, it it it's converting my my mind actually because I thought in this type of position, um, a five is such a comical move, and I have to just to do short castle anyway. But yeah, knowing there is another game that's already being played, and of course, I'm sure. Uh, coming from a home research as well, uh, yeah, you can you can choose a few other strategies like this too, and then having the bishop here, and then in the end, long castle is also possible. So, yeah, um, yeah, that's good. Thanks, Felix, for checking it out. Sure. Yes. Yeah, so the game went with castle immediately by uh, Nakamura, and then knight c4, bishop e6, rook e1, and rook e8. Yep, so, so far so good for both sides, I guess. Yeah, so when knight e3, he, does he want to play d5? Because he kind of saves the saves the move, maybe. Because he can play queen d7 at once, so no queen e7, queen d7. Right, so maybe, and, and there is no waiting move uh, apart from knight e3, because you cannot play d5 when the knight on c4, right? Or yeah, you? exactly, mm -hmm. yeah. So, but if there is a waiting move, what would it be then? Yeah, not easy to find. Um... Because as far as I understand, if black um, Gets could D5. play d5 without yeah. having any problem, then yeah, black already yeah. stands fine. Yeah. So, yeah, I think after knight e3, d5 has to be played anyway. And let's say we take and then takes this, like, now it, it should be fine. This one is... is yeah, black protected. is fine. Black yeah. is fine. But apart from it's... knight e3... Is h3 a move here? H3. Since now both sides are castled on the same side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a fair point. Yeah, h3. Should I wait something like queen d7? Queen d7, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah queen d7. And now again, it's not easy for white to find a useful move. Bishop d2. <laughs> Bishop d2. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Bishop where? d2. Yeah, you just, just, wait, just yeah? have to. Yeah, just wait. I mean, black is also going to wait, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But also, you know, at some point he might just uh, start on the king side, you know, like some king h8, rook g8, or mm -hmm. something. I don't know. I mean, yeah, h3 is, is quite committal. Yeah. H3 is. Uh, Can I I'm start sure. then with bishop d2 and again queen d7, yeah. and then I don't know, queen c2, I don't know what's the idea, or rook, rook c1, I don't know. And what is black? Put rook here. No, at some point you you want to get d4, yeah. But uh, yeah. when to when to do this is the main pro point. Oh, actually, to continue uh, Laura's idea, what if uh, this is my idea? Um, queen c2, rook d1, and then bishop here, and then play b3, mm -hmm. and then bishop b1. You know, just put yeah. the knight on c4, <laughs> and then therefore you are preparing for d4 and then you have already this battery to to h7 i mean it's a long long stretch but um if we are talking about all the waiting moves that can be played yeah this will be interesting but i think naka h3. is three so feed at least yeah? felix h3 is on the board nice wow nice okay Comital. i mean i would i would be a bit afraid that g4 is coming from my opponent one day yeah me too so, okay, <laughs> i guess Vidit is not afraid so that's a good thing but i guess after g4 hg4 bishop g4 there is always 93 and 93. and the light squares will be a bit weakened yeah. yeah, but I'm preparing myself with king h7 or king h8, rook g8. But of course, it's not that scary. But in the future, yeah, you give uh, black some ideas. Yeah, that's that for sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay, can we, can we switch to other there? games and update yeah. uh, on the game between maybe Gukesh versus mm -hmm. Uh okay, we saw not, the, much has not much has happened. Yeah, no. after d3, bishop c5. 
um, he took on c6, d6, and c3, queen d7, h3, bishop d6, and knight bd2. Okay, nothing much happened so far. This yeah, is... just normal. normal so it's a Berlin with extra a6 for black. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, and we haven't seen the game between uh, Nijat versus Fabiano at all. So started with d4, d5, c4, and e6. And knight c3, bishop b4. a3 takes takes and knight f6. e3, c6, a4 castle. Bishop d3 and e5. I have no experience or clue about what's going on. Can somebody a, enlighten me? D takes c5, d4 is the idea, right? So d takes c5. Oh, d sorry, d takes c5. Yeah, d4. Ah. Bishop c4, Bishop c4, queen d1, queen d1 takes d1, knight g4. Mm, yeah. So e5 and f, f2 is attacked, and black is fine. Black is fine. Okay. So yeah. therefore, white shouldn't take the e5 pawn then, yeah? Because yeah. Um... so if if c d5 maybe mm -hmm, is the mm -hmm. move, and then he will play uh, at queen d5 maybe is interesting. Queen d5. Okay. I thought e four was 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 the critical. Like, yeah, e four e four is also uh, e four is also there. Yeah. And where does this bishop go? E two. E two, yeah. Or c two. Well, c two c t c takes d five. Then some b six bishop a six. You have to uh -huh. be uh, so you want to prepare for e c four then? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. after this, can you play c four right away or play something else first? Um, well, c4, no, I have to play, right? Because I, otherwise I can't bring my knight from g1. Mm -hmm. But I think the main line is knight e2, if I remember correctly, to just give the pawn. Oh, in this play. position? I just yeah, wanted to suggest two. that because it looks very interesting. After e4, I yeah. guess bishop b1. Uh, uh -huh. c2 or b1, it... Uh, it's a, yeah, and some knight g3, rook a2, and f3 kind of things. Yeah. If dc4. Let me grab this pawn, yes, and knight g3. Yeah, knight g3. Rook yeah. e8. And some castle, castle. or f3. Yeah. Oh, is this okay? Yeah, yeah it's compensation. It's compensation? Comp yeah, more oh. than compensation. Because, Laura, what do you think of this one? Because we have one extra pawn, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> As like we have one extra right. pawn. <laughs> um, yeah, we do, but uh, this is like typical in French or Karakan, you know, once you take, uh, if, if it was colors reversed, you mm -hmm. have these two weak pawns, so... Again, as a French player, I love that. <laughs> yeah, let me let me try to play a few more moves for black because uh, I'm just trying to understand where is the compensation. Um, okay, let me offer defense this pawn. Uh, but you always have f3, yeah? F yeah, f3. F3 right away, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah this is going to take time for me to bring these two out yeah maybe if you if you could have brought the bishop to g6 perhaps it's not it's okay but uh, ah that's true that's true that four you play knight g3 you didn't have time yeah, yeah you, you, didn't, have you time. didn't have time uh yeah so order of moves are really important so let's say in this position instead of knight g3 white just castles and now it's time to bring the bishop yeah maybe f5 i don't know f5 g6 maybe f5 maybe. It, yeah f5 and and g6 yeah this is a better square for the bishop yeah, yeah therefore you have to play knight g3 first and then um rook e8 have been played or... uh de5 already played so ooh. Uh -huh. he's not worried uh, entering this position so as we analyzed that one before the e5 will be met with um uh, dc4 and if you take EF6. this, no, no, he will take E F six. Oh, E F six. E F six. And then how to take this one back? Uh, C takes D three. C takes D three, and then take on G seven, and then rookie eight. Is it? Rookie eight, yeah. Mm hmm. 
And uh, if you switch on engine, it might give a weak horse. Let's see. <laughs> Oh, Ooh, black no, it's is better. black is better. Yeah. So something, something in along the way, engine doesn't like. So maybe in this position, you are ought to take on this one. Yeah, queen d1 Queen and d1 knight g4. and knight after knight g4. Where is the King, king, uh, king e2? king, no, e1, King maybe, e1. king e2, king e1. Or somebody says f4 might be an idea here. F4. What? Could And it? ah. Yeah. Trying to get the compensation like this? Again, chat is too strong. Chat, chat, chat can be G. Even masses is a. <laughs> Don't uh, insult them, please. It was not an insult, it was a compliment. No, No, not no. you. I mean, Ah, chat okay. can be grandmasters. No, I mean, No, night F3. Night also F3 maybe there is are grandmasters lurking actually... in the chat too. <laughs> Yeah. Actually, actually, once uh, once you see the move, uh, it it's it it looks really nice. I mean, until you make the move f four, it seems like wow, Yeah. it, it doesn't come to your head. But once you say, aha, okay, let me try f four, and then you see, okay, you have two. I mean, Two double bishops. bishop and yeah, two bishops And and central uh, pawns. center pawns. The knight knight is not coming uh, on from b eight so easily. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll see if, if Nijet is going to play this variation or not because It's going to be very interesting for sure. And Fabi is currently thinking, but is there is there any other moves apart from DC4 here? Could let's say could I play knight g4 immediately, but that's not the Uh, point, maybe right? knight g4. No, maybe knight g4. Yeah. Knight g4? Oh, it's a bad move because let me think. Why is it a bad move? F4. Or queen c2. Now, Queen um, C2. because I thought we we're taking. Oh no! Well, now we were worse. I think it's F4. Beautiful. Yeah, F4. And Mm after takes this, bishop e2, maybe. -hmm. ah, yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, Yeah. that should be it. Yeah. And then takes this, and then going here. Yes. I didn't, you Nice. are too strong here. Yeah, way too strong. <laughs> Thank you. Candidates twenty twenty six. You are like, uh, like positional genius here, you know? Well, after spending a day with you, with Laura and with Felix yesterday, I've I've becoming a bit smarter now. <laughs> um, this info is on the board, by the way. So Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fabi knows his stuff. Uh, not letting Mm -hmm. effort to happen. Um, but uh, what was again? What was the ah? Bishop takes Uh, C Bishop four, takes queen d4, d1, queen d1, queen, king d1, knight and then g4, yeah, and an f four f4. in this position. Yeah, Yeah, it, it would be an interesting opening choice by Nijat. Their first encounter, it was Fabi won, but uh, the game went very quiet and uh, um, Nijat only collapsed in the last moves of the game and, and decided, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm done with this and then just, you know, blundered in a way where Fabi blundered against Hikaru pretty much. So we'll see if, if this game will be a comeback from Nijat because he has yet to score a win in this, in this tournament. And meanwhile, let's switch or update all Mm -hmm. sets. Could we, sorry, Irene, Hmm? could we go to Gukesh's game? Yes. Because I was kind of shocked by this decision to castle here. <laughs> Oh, please enlighten me. Why is it um, something Shocking. that's unusual? Yeah. I'm, uh, it kind of reminds me of this game. Uh, was it, um, Aronian against Kramnik, candidates Yes. 2018, Yes, yes, uh, where yes. it was very similar? Mm And Kramnik with black now played something along the lines of rook g8. -hmm. And Oh, then in this g5, position. g4 happened. Yeah. So I was thinking maybe g5 right away could, could be an idea here and, uh, could become quite dangerous for, for white with this, uh, pawn on h3 already. Ah. Oh. Wow, that is really, really interesting. Uh, no, that's just amazing. I didn't cross my mind at all. So g5 right away instead of g8, yes. And... So okay, let's let's okay. Taking is always a dubious um, decision to make, yeah, because you just get this one, and I think you have to come back, yeah, because if you do this, then there is h6, so that doesn't work. But if you come back now, at least bishop h3 is there, and 
black stands better so g5 is almost uh never get captured but what else what what can white do in this position d4 d4 aha uh -huh. and if i play g4 um if you yeah. you have to take on e5 i guess yeah, i think d takes e5 but maybe it's better d takes e5 is better yeah. and after bishop takes knight e5 knight e5 queen e5 knight c4 knight c4 queen goes where not to e4 e6 e6 <laughs> E6 or E7, yeah, or something. Mm. Um, well, E7, yeah. maybe Bishop G5 or something. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the pin is unpleasant, yeah. And no, 97. Oh, Prague. Damn it. He chose to play 97, but okay, we, we'll come yeah. back to that uh, to that game. But I'm just looking at this position, and uh, it looks interesting to me because... I don't really calculate the risk, like the long term risk in the in the black's position. I'm I'm a kind of person who is living in the moment, Harry. So mm -hmm. in this right moment, it looks very fun to play as black. Although, of course, if you talk about uh, Irene, you have to take a look about your f5 pawn. Maybe in the future it is it is uh, a weakness, and your king is still in the center. It might be a weakness. Mm -hmm. Okay, well. It's going to be my worry for tomorrow, but for, yeah, for yeah. this moment, it's just very enjoyable. Like, Rook G8 is coming, taking mm -hmm. here is coming. Yeah, it's, it's just nice position. No, it's definitely have. an interesting idea, mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. G5, G4. Okay, the maybe slight difference with that game is uh, white had queen on E2, so which makes it uh, worse uh, for white because mm -hmm. uh, G takes F3 uh, is possible. Threat, yeah. And mm -hmm. yeah... Queen is worse, uh, worsely p placed on e2, and yeah, uh, uh, yeah and also uh, white didn't have c3 if I remember correctly. Um, so mm -hmm. it, uh, I'm taking a note. What whose game again was it? Aronian Kramnik or Kramnik Aronian? Yeah, Aronian Kramnik. Kramnik. Yeah, did it 2018? I believe so. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll check it out just for my own personal reference. Yeah, but in the game here, Pragdananda played knight d7. Um, what could be the ideas? Knight c4. Knight. Oh, wait, what? What's the idea, sorry? Oh, oh of uh, black? Yeah. yeah, of black with this knight ah, d7. Of, uh... Where are you going to maneuver the knight, yeah? Generally, it's uh, uh, like uh, f6, knight f8, and so on. But mm -hmm. uh, since black, white has already castled, uh, he can black can also castle. And he uh, black has two ideas with b6, bishop a6, because white has already committed to c3. Mm. Uh, in in, I mean, usually it's like uh, pawn is on c2, so then there is no point of uh, uh, keeping the bishop on. Uh, a6 but in this particular case mm -hmm. uh, for, uh, since white has played uh, c3 uh, b6 bishop a6 makes a lot of sense right yeah if the pawn was still on c2 then this idea looks you know uh, not really a good idea yeah but yeah the pawn yeah, is already yeah. on c3 um, having the bishop on a6 will ask the question to white what will you do to defend the d3 pawn will you move to c4 which is um, quite unnatural, I would say, but yeah. Uh, yeah. But where does this knight we, go? Just stay here. Uh, which one? The knight. The knight. Knight, on knight, the seven. Uh, knight stays uh, there and decides uh, depending on how white places the pieces. So really. let's say I play knight c4 here. Castle. Castle. Yeah. And then, uh, knight goes here. Uh maybe exactly for this reason i should have played uh, knight f8 but okay knight c5 knight c5 um okay rook e1 also g6 was an uh, interesting move instead of knight c5 maybe g6 yeah that's interesting um what can i do here 
Okay, let uh, me... I have to I have to interrupt you mm-hmm. because I see uh, in the game Anna Mozichuk versus Koryachkina it's like a mm-hmm. lot of things happening. Oh, we which thought... we thought will be super quiet game. <laughs> oh, but just take a look before we go deeper. Just take a look at this time situation. Anna didn't spend yeah. a minute until move 22, so it is still well within her preparation and we saw the position up to like up to bishop takes d4 this gambit and then bishop yeah. f4 knight e8 knight d5 and d6 bishop g5 f6 yes so oops <laughs> bishop b2 that's okay <laughs> bishop b1 bishop a uh, rook b1 bishop a3 and then this this bishop c4 c6 trade the queens and knight f6 Ari, didn't you have a very similar game here? Some, yes. Somewhere along Queen a5 against Domingos, right? Yeah, yeah, Domingos, yes. Oh, um, exactly in this move or what was No, the not here, but uh, slight uh, different. different. Mm-hmm. It, it wasn't in this line. I thought it was exactly here. Just um, instead of c6, something else. Bishop c5, right? Instead of bishop e6, you mean? Instead of bishop but e6. It, it was this, no? Yeah, I think here. Uh, do you C5? have master database? Maybe you can check. Um. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't show here. Instead of queen a5, maybe queen c3. Oh, in this position. Yeah, queen c3. Okay. Still. Then it was probably a different. Probably it was like one, class. yeah, one move different or something, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I don't see anything. Okay. So queen c3 was the, what happened in the game? I, Something like that. I cannot recall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think, and then bishop uh, c5 like this? Yeah. And takes me? No, no, he played c6, queen, uh, um, c6, bishop c4. Ooh, bishop c4. Uh, c takes d5, bishop d5, king h8, queen a3, knight c7. Bishop b7. Uh, rook b8. Rook b8, there is queen a7. Uh, but there is one point I forgot. Um, yeah, this is, uh, this is the line, but I don't recall now. Yeah, I'm just trying to understand this. Yeah, pro- probably this is uh, rook b8 and queen b1. Rook, if rook b8, queen uh, a7. Queen a7, yeah. yeah, this is what I'm thinking. Yeah, well... Yeah, I think I think there's a slight difference to your to your game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. I think Felix is checking that now. <laughs> I found it. Yeah, I you found, found it. it. Yeah. So what was the difference? Which um, point? So it was si- sixteen bishop e three, right? Was yes. the game? Uh-huh. Bishop e five, bishop c four. Bishop e five, and then bishop c four. King h uh, eight. So bishop c four is the difference, yeah. Yeah. King h eight, f four. Bishop b two, rook b one, and now c six. Ah, and okay. now on oh, c6, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rook b2, cd5, bishop yeah, d5. And then rook b8 and the queen b1. That's what they yeah. are saying. Rook d2, cb5, and? Bishop d5, uh-huh. knight c7, bishop b7. Ah, the rook is on b2, rook yeah? B8. That, yeah? That's yeah, yeah, yeah. different. Yeah. Rook, rook b8 and queen b1. Uh-huh. I see. And how did the game go? Was it also a draw? I think queen, queen is a uh, draw, yeah. Mm-hmm. Rapid game. Oh, it was rapid game. Wow, mm-hmm. wow, rapid game, and you still remember? <laughs> even Elora, <laughs> even if you ask me, and and how long ago was this? What year was that? Uh, twenty twenty. Okay, Laura, if you ask me, like my classical game, even from last year, and you, yeah. you're like, Irene, this is your game against this guy, or <laughs> which one was that? <laughs> and this was a rapid game. Nice, very good memory both of you have. Okay, so. Uh, the game after knight f6. Ooh, king f7. So, yeah. okay. So not taking on f6, but Gorchkina uh, decided to maintain um, the pair of bishop, or rather not to let 
white half the pair of bishop still what happens after rook b7 is the question yeah mm -hmm. rook e7 rook b7 just oh just take this one no yeah bishop d4 i think we have to run yes run forest run g4 yeah. g4 okay where do i run now king uh, oh king e4 you have Wow. Yeah, so, okay. I cannot do this. So you have to... But you can take on... But, oh, if uh, taking maybe this, first, taking this. May, yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe first bishop e6, but then... Bishop yeah. e6, but then after king, king f, here... King e6, knight e8. You can take in on h7 too, but okay. Yeah, yeah. This and rook b7. This and rook e7. No, then you lose uh, the a7. No. A7, yeah. But the bishop might get trapped. <laughs> bishop might be trapped. <laughs> but okay, bishop b6 and bishop a5. Sorry. Yeah. So after this, bishop. Rook e7. Uh huh. And then rook takes e7. King, King e7. Takes... And bishop a7. And then let's trap this bishop here. Yeah? Ah, that's tough. Bishop, bishop b4. b6. Yeah, just king comes, you know. Is I have it? bishop, ah, bishop d8. Yeah. Bishop d8, I see. Yeah. Can't okay. It. And also, okay, maybe no need to push the pawn first here yeah, because then it might be a weak pawn then. Uh, I don't know. How is it possible, actually? Let me check. This one didn't just go and then just the king is on time, yeah? Now black is okay. No black but, is okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You but think I so? Just... Well, I mean, c4 in the last position. No, king came to b5. It did in time? Yeah, yeah she put no, I'm a5. a4 here. Oh, ah, instead a4, of king f2? a4, yeah, a4, king d7, a5, king c6, and c4. a4, mm -hmm. king d7, a5, king c6, and c4. Uh huh. Yeah, d5 is probably d5. Lost. Yeah, you have to, you have to play it anyway. Takes, 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 takes. King d5, a6, a6, and you have to run back. And a7, a7 king b7, and just king comes. Yeah. And white is better here. Yeah? Uh, yeah, maybe beneath. I think white is close to win this because. Yeah, yeah. no, it should be winning. Yeah. Okay, well, we found a way on making this game not ending with a draw. Yeah, a little yeah. bit more interesting. And Bishop e6 on the board. Yeah. Yes, yeah. so now Gretchkina is uh, doing the final check maybe to take on e6 because I don't think this is the idea. Or f6. Maybe king f6. Maybe king f6, yeah, to save the pawn yeah. maybe. Here, but I can... Ah, I can pull my bishop here. So I still... I still have two options to take b7 or h7. Yeah. And just Can trying I to make sure. Mm -hmm. Something like c5 now. Okay, no, and now I'm tra trapping my own bishop. My idea was after bishop h7, g6, yeah. But, but I, guess... I, I take on b7 yeah, here. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, you can play b6 if you want to save the pawn. b6 okay. is okay. And after bishop h7? Maybe bishop c5. Mm. King f2 maybe? Yeah, king f2, then g6. I mean, she wanted to yeah. tap, but bishop g8, yeah. Oh, bishop g8 back. <laughs> but there's... The, okay, there's d5. Oh, take, take, and then d5? Yeah. Yes, exactly. This is not good news. Mm, no. I maybe I have to take on c5 instead of yeah, king f2. Yeah, you have to take on c5, yes. Uh, after g6. Instead of king f2. Okay, instead of instead king of f2. King. Like with the deep one. Ah, and then now you can move your bishop, yeah? Like, like, yeah. Let's say like this. Really? Right. But this could be quite unpleasant for black. Yeah. 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 Bishop stands better in the end game against knight like this. Right. Wow. But, uh, yeah, Anna, Anna has been playing very quickly uh, so far. 
So, but Gershkina is of many good choices here. I mean, King e6 is of obviously what she had in mind by playing King f7. So I think she's in a safe position so far. And, um, oh, the game between Nijat versus Fabiano, it's a little bit different to what we expected. So after this takes takes and knight g4, not f4, but king e1, the safe choice. But after knight e5, bishop e2. Okay, just bear in mind for those who just join us in the chat, the king has moved, so you shouldn't think about playing, let's say, knight f3 in castle, because the king has already moved. Um, pair of bishop, equal material, what are we thinking on this position? Uh what do you mean? I mean, like it's still. <laughs> I'm sure it's still like an equalist position. But let me yeah. pull up my database actually. If mm. oh, okay, I thought this this position has been played like pretty much numerous times and still within like the grandmaster draws. Oh, but when f four is an engine move, uh -huh. I guess you don't go king e one. Yeah, um, here. Oh, like this one, and yeah, maybe yeah. you go where. No, um, I think what she means is that if f4 is the uh, ancient move, if they were prepared, they would have played f4, yeah? yeah? Ah. Because f4 is what we saw earlier, and it was yeah. apparently top suggest suggestion yeah. Yeah, yeah. by the chat, which is uh, 3,500, so... Wow. <laughs> yes. Uh, so so you're thinking that Nijat is not preparing, the, preparing no, this, no, of course. No, Nijat yeah? is not prepared. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. He, he would have played f4 instead of blinking e1, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so this position... Mm -hmm. so it, it I means... expect bishop f5, actually, here. Yeah. So if white didn't play f4, then this position stands a bit better for black, or is it just still equal anyway? It's just pleasant, pleasant to play from white, I think. Black. For white, you For think? White? Uh, sorry, black. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Don't worry, Harry. We are yeah. a few minutes away from our first break, so you can take your coffee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Bishop E2 and yeah, Bishop F5 looks pretty natural. And this knight will go out to here and I don't know, maybe to C5 even. Okay, careful with maybe the F8. Uh, I need f3 e4, but uh, the main problem is that my king is king has moved, so yes, yeah, it's not very pleasant. But can we make an artificial castle? Like okay, let's starting with f3. Let's let's make d3 it. check. I think oh knight d3 no, knight d3 knight d3 yeah, right knight away. D3. Ah, so it is okay going for this type of position. Yeah, yeah. because you can play like c5 knight c6 and. C5, yeah. knight C6, I see. And black is more pleasant. Yeah, it is definitely black who is uh, who is having nice nice time here. So let's say I play... Okay, let me just develop my, my knight. You play C5. Okay. C5, okay. Uh, knight here. Bishop C4. Bishop C4. Mm, let's play... E4 or King F2? Let's play E4. Yeah, then. one of these. Yeah, mm -hmm. Knight C6. Okay, Bishop E3. B6. King F2 now. Yeah, and uh, maybe F5 here uh, or something like this. F5. It's just that uh, um, Black's pieces have uh, quite uh, can move freely, whereas. Uh, White pieces are, you know, kind of stuck with knight on f4, can't really go to d3, d5, and also right. the pawn structure, if you see. Yeah, this knight can go to e5, can go to a5, yeah, and then, yeah, yeah, I totally get your point. And the pawn stands on the let square as well, and it's, it's, yeah. it's almost impossible to push it without any punishment. So, yeah, this bishop will stand better. Okay, trying to understand this position because I think I remember there was some um, Mickey Adams has this quote on his book his recent book what was it like thing like a GM mm -hmm. like the difference between like the top player against like club player let's say let's say we have we are given like seven minutes to think yeah the top player would just uh, would just have like one minute to come up with the right move and then spend yeah, the rest yeah. 
yeah, and then spend the rest of the minutes to calculate, double check everything. Yeah, whereas the mm-hmm. club yeah. player or like normal player, uh, they would think for like maybe five minutes just to find what is the right move. And then yeah, yeah. they don't have don't, don't really have enough time to calculate afterwards, which is like maybe two minutes remaining or something like that. So, so this is you can also see the thought, the process of thinking between me and Hari. I'm still trying to literally understand the situation be, before come up with the move, because it takes more time for me to understand this type of situation. And then once I understood, uh, I can uh, easily come up with candidate moves, not necessarily the best move, just candidate moves first. And then once I gain my understanding again, then I can do this process of elimination and then eventually come up with, you know, kind of like the best move or, or uh, an okay move. Uh, but for Hari, Hari could understand this position right away and already had this thought, uh, like this is the idea, blah, 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 blah. And then the rest of the minutes that let's say Hari has, he just has to calculate and then double check everything. So, um, Laura, we have to work on this um, <laughs> process of thinking in order to get, yeah. you know, a better move in a shorter time. Yeah, yeah. I, especially me, I love time troubles. So I should, uh, I need some lessons for that for sure. But it's also when you're in shape your intuition works much better and mm-hmm. you kind of trust your first instinct with a move while you're when you're out of shape or you don't trust yourself it's just double checking double checking triple checking so yeah definitely something i want to i need to we need to do we yes. no i mean you're the candidate no no no, no, no you don't need to work on <laughs> we, that we all have to i work. need to and work Aris, on that. Ari said we have to revise uh, all the variations on the daily basis so this is this is the first step toward the candidate laura <laughs> okay yeah yeah Okay, so there's nothing much um, going on really on this one. We see the general okay. ideas or overview about this position, especially from Black's perspective. And it is, uh, we conclude that this is a pleasant position to play as Black. Let's update ourselves on the game between Ali Reza versus Ian Nepomniachi. And what do we have here? Um, so after, wait, we have this position uh, with double fianchero. And after... Knight c6 castle, e6 d3, bishop e7, knight bd2, castle rook e1. Okay, this is the looking like normal normal ready position here with e4 and then you put yeah. the bishop to h7. I remember there was a game, uh, maybe not exactly like this, but I, I, I had like a similar similar setup as black and I got I got crushed totally by Sasuke mm-hmm. Ren um, in Flissingen 20... I can't remember, 2016 maybe. Um, and I remember our conversation with Surya, um, Grandmaster, an Indian Grandmaster, Surya Ganguly, who is helping feed it in these candidates. With you also, Hari, Qatar Masters 2014. 14, 14. 14, 14. yeah. We were in the same dinner table and after the game, we were just talking and how you would be like, surpassing Anand if you had your opening repertoires systematic like what Sassy has <laughs> <laughs> because he's known to have like a very very systemat- systematic and very good analysis of the opening preparations and uh, yeah this type of chess players joke yeah but yes but it's true isn't it like Sassy Sasha Kiran has a very well prepared and very deep opening prep yeah, uh, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, with uh, with the, like, I am slightly younger to him, but it was more like we all played in the you know national championships mm-hmm. and many other events, and uh, for sure he was the best prepared. Uh, not just like uh, you know lot of uh, analysis or line moves. It's more like interesting and uh, quite deep, and uh, he always was analyzing uh, openings and. Uh, also middle game position so um, I think at that time he was clearly the best uh, prepared after Anand Mm -hmm. I see and what about you Felix who do you think in your generation is the best prepared 
players in the world right now. I mean, please do not say Magnus Carlsen or these guys, but in your generation, we have what? He is not, the, he is not the Felix's generation. <laughs> yeah, Felix. that's what I meant. <laughs> but I mean, those players are still living in this generation right now. So maybe like, um, like Abdus Satorov, yeah, you're 21 years old right now, still very young, a baby boy still. Um, <laughs> so your generation should be about this um, Uzbek boys, yeah, like Abdus Satrov and uh, Sindarov and probably Lazafik and who else? Prag, Prag Bukesh, Bukesh. Yes, exactly. Yeah, who do you think is the best? Well, everyone has very good preparation, I would say, but um, like like what Harry mentioned about Sashi, um, how he stood out as having like a very deep preparation and very well prepared one who who do you think i would mention arjun eric icy because mm. uh he has a very broad repertoire and he always plays um like some small ideas for for every individual game just trying to to surprise the opponent and i think uh, it works really well as we see now he's like 27 65 now or he's something like this so um yeah, I'm very impressed by uh, by his practical opening preparation. Yeah, he won the Menorca Open and officially is Indian number one, if I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. right now. Yes, yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Even before the tournament, he was uh, Indian number one. Ah, and, I see. And uh, he gained some more points in uh, Menorca. To maintain that level, yeah. Wow, yeah. 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 Wow, yeah, I forgot about Arjun totally. I mean, look at the number of players that India has. Like... Arjun is not even in the candidates and he's India number one. Like you guys yeah, have a lot. Next time. Next, next time. time. You yeah. guys have next lots time. of very, very promising young players. Yeah. I'm so jealous actually because India has, okay, it's it's like an order. If you're going to the restaurant, um, Indian just has every single food there is to provide, you know? <laughs> what do you want? Uh, 2700? Yes, we have. What kind of 2700 you want? <laughs> you want the high 2700? You have. You want the mid 2700? Or you want the low 2700? Oh, it's like so many choices. Oh my gosh, yeah. But anyway, guys, it's been so fun for the first hour of the commentary, but I think we have to take our first break now and then we come back uh, to analyze uh, all the games again, both in open and women's section. So take your coffee, take your popcorn, because it's still going to be long hours here at the commentary. And yes, we will see you back in a few minutes. So stay tuned.
Boom, we are back. I hope you enjoy the music. Um, yeah, kudos to our production team for providing such a nice music as a background. And we are going to come back analyzing this one, Feed It versus Hikaru, which turned to be according to our prediction, mainly Laura's and my prediction. <laughs> Laura, here, girls power. We could predict this is going to happen. So uh, feels great. Feels, feels great, great, right? But actually started with H3. This was um, Felix's move. And Hikaru made a waiting move with Queen D7 as again as we predicted. And then we start with this Bishop D2. And Laura mentioned it like maybe half an hour ago. Uh, about this Bishop D2. And another waiting move, Rook A D8. A waiting move, but a very useful move too. And we did continue with Queen C2. And after B6 bishop a2 so what i was telling before was after bishop d2 maybe queen c2 bishop here rook will go to d1 and then you put like b3 and then bishop b2 and preparing for d4 i think if black keeps doing the waiting moves this might be happening on the board so what can black do because the pieces look ready black black looks like black is ready to attack with d5 and Maybe not d5, but um, yeah, all the all the pieces are set. Hurry, continue what to do here as black. Well, black is trying to get uh, d5, obviously, mm -hmm. but uh, it's not uh, not that simple to get this. But also, I I guess black at some point would try to get uh, make g4 or uh, you know has to be careful with. Knight h5, knight f4 kind of things uh, are also an option for black actually, and uh, I would like I would have liked to have the knight to g6 via mm -hmm. knight e7, knight g6, but then things like b4 and uh, you know c a takes b4, c takes b4 kind of things you need to take into account. Mm -hmm. I was about so, to say maybe b4 is anyway white's idea. Yeah, before is uh, before uh, is anyway. Uh, before is anyway. The yeah, idea, I see. Well, the thing is, if uh, if you play before uh, with the knight on c six, I can take and maybe go g four. I was and... thinking about that, but then I take bishop g four b five. Um, bishop f three. Let's BC. let's have one move here so that I can put it yeah, on the board. So uh, king h eight. King let's, h8. let's put king h eight. Yeah. yeah, and then b four takes Fix. takes and then g four. And g four. And I was thinking hg4, bishop g4, b5, but it could be dangerous for white. Bishop, bishop f3, take on c6, queen g4, knight e3. Ah, I, I need the king on g8 because maybe in queen g6 you have bishop f7. Possibly. Mm. <laughs> I was trying to understand what is going on, I see. But even if it doesn't work, like if I play something like king f1, how is the position? Like in this Am position, I... eh? king f1, yeah. let's say. King f1 and bishop uh, h5, f3 maybe. f3 and then knight f5. Yeah. f3 and knight f5. No, b b4 is definitely white's main idea here in the position and get b4, b5 or something like this. Yeah. Mm, okay, so... And then you're just trying to get an outside pass pawn. I mean, assuming that after b4 takes takes, and then you can play a5 at, at some point, yeah? What happens to knight h5? This should be considered, because uh -huh. uh, after b4, uh, maybe I go d5. Mm. Mm, yeah, yeah, that's a nice idea. Because now I'm kind of protecting the e5 pawn. Thanks to the bishop on yes. g7. What if I go knight h5, knight e3? Because now you don't have d5 anymore. Yeah, yeah. then I don't have d5 yet. And things like this, how... Yeah, anyway, I have to go for this here. I thought just bishop takes e6. Bishop takes e6. I guess fe is... fe6, yeah. e6. Has to be played. And put the rook back to f8, something yeah. like this, yeah? I mean, it's some strange kind of uh, Italian. Like usually, the bishop is on e7 and queen on g6 and pawn on g7, mm -hmm. like how you get this. But then this is like completely like so strange. 
but is it for the better or for the worse? That's hard to say. Don't worry, this is just still just evaluation, not a marriage <laughs> vow. <laughs> for the better, for the worse. <laughs> Yes. So uh, yeah, I mean, DeFi will come at some point. Yeah, Black will push DeFi. So I uh -huh. guess I, I wouldn't be unhappy with Black's, uh, you know, G5 here. In general, I like to have my pawn doubled on the EFA like this, and then have my major two, mm -hmm. one or major pieces. Um, on the F file, especially if I have the knight on F4. So I would be happy to play this position as black. What do you think, Laura? Yeah, yeah I kind of agree. I I was thinking white has so many ideas in the original position, but now that you mentioned this knight H5, knight F4, I like black. Mm -hmm. So I would, I would pick black, I guess, if I had to choose. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so, okay, so after bishop a2, knight h5, it looks like um, a very, very nice candidate move uh, by Hikaru. Mm -hmm. Can white come up with something? So we, we analyze b4 and knight yeah. e3. I think knight e3 is uh, maybe, Must, maybe maybe the best, yeah. But after knight d3, there is d5, yeah? No, 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 no. Oh, sorry, knight f4 first, sorry, knight f4. Yeah, so knight f4, bishop e6, f3, 6, and somewhere uh, here we need to find Going something. Going for this for... position, I see. Yeah. Okay. Maybe, I don't know if g3 is working, maybe not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably it's not working. Takes you? Queen yeah. f7, yeah, yeah. King g2, queen f7. Oh, mm, that's nice, yeah. And queen, queen d1, oh, you rook take, f8. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, queen d1, rook f8. And rook h1. Mm. Yeah, maybe I have to play h5 at some point, but... Yeah, h5. Yeah. Just to show like takes and then here, mm -hmm. yeah, and then before, yes. But when the pawn, or oh, maybe you can also take with the queen if you want, but I think with the pawn because then you no, have to protect this. Probably pawn, yeah, pawn, because yeah. let's say yeah. I, I put my rook, um, h2, h2, <laughs> you take with the pawn, king goes, yeah, king h1, king h1, and queen maybe goes so here. So you have later. queen f1, queen f1, queen, queen h2, queen f1, yeah, or this one as well. Mm -hmm. This is very complicated, yeah, for yes. both colors. No, no. This is complicated. D5. Oh. Mm -hmm. D5 here, yes. Yes. Hmm. Takes, takes, no. Takes, takes, push. Like this. And then C4. Yeah. Oh, no, no. No, no, yeah, it's not going to happen. No. <laughs> Giving up the D4 square. <laughs> so... Do we have to take on e6 with white? No, no, it's not necessary. Because but yeah. otherwise d5 is maybe coming. And we cannot, we cannot place... Mm. We cannot play any sacrifices with knight f5 now, no? That's too much, I guess. I just... Yeah, yeah, yeah it doesn't look... It's working. Or can we play... No. Um... Can I go bishop d5 or something? Or knight d5? Knight d5. Just to find an alternative to bishop e6. There I'm may wondering. be some sacrifice on h3. Yeah. You want to sacrifice. I want to you, sacrifice. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but directly. you have to choose. Yeah, you have to choose. If Is it knight uh, g2 or which one? Oh, for so yeah. many things. There are so many sacrifices <laughs> okay. possible. Okay. Yeah, makes sense. We're not get mm -hmm. allowing you to do that. Yeah, so bishop e6, I guess, almost almost a must in, in that position. Let's, okay. let's try this one. Okay. Yeah. If you take, queen takes. Yes. And how do you take this, yeah? Bishop. Bishop. Yeah. And how do we take this? <laughs> 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 I'm just, just I'm just problem. this is my task, yeah, just just to show the ideas and let you guys work it out. 
it, it takes effort. It, it takes yeah. effort. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. now try to. Attend What do you this. play? What do you play? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, so many questions. because for sure. Answer. Answer me. <laughs> because if you play this, you at least have um. No, no, three, queen yeah? e two. So it queen has to be queen e two or queen d one. Queen e two. Yeah, queen e two. Uh, and I guess g four. Yeah, g four f three. Oh no, no, this one oh, is no, hanging. F, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, g four. I will go knight h two. Knight h two okay. first, and after this, I just queen f one. Ah. Okay, But, so okay. It's not over yet because I think it still continues queen h four and h five. Yeah, yeah. Well, it looks actually very, very interesting if this happens. Yeah. yeah, like this, um, like this, this queen h4. There is bishop e5. There is also rook e5 going here. But I think practically it's much easier to just play knight f4 after g4. Mm -hmm. Let queen f3 takes takes and d4. Mm, takes takes yeah. and then d4. Mm -hmm. And rook e3 and okay. And yeah, get this point other pawn, yeah, and then double up the rook at first, maybe. Yeah. Oh, I'm just happy that I'm not playing this game now. <laughs> It's just gonna be oh, I'm gonna take so much time. And speaking about time, I think I think yeah. it has a better time management on this round because um it's not too far apart from Hikaru's time now. This is excellent time management, I would say. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Compared this is to so yeah, last previous games, we did this doing good with time. Felix, uh, I just want to I just want to point that mm -hmm. the bishop went to h7 in uh, Anna's game. Yeah, I want to was say to exactly the good same. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we saw this. I mean, we kind of like predicted something like along this line will happen. After king f7, bishop takes, king takes f6, and bishop g8, bishop c5. Ah, so we analyze b6, yeah? Instead of bishop c5, yeah. b6 first, and then uh -huh. h7. Yeah. So it's a bit different there. Um, so she saved the move. She saved the move. Mm. And after this... Oh, it's actually nice that white cannot yeah. take on b7 here because of knight d6. Knight yeah. d6. So nice discovery. Yeah. Like this and knight d6, it's attacking both pieces at the same time. Yeah, so yeah, saving up a move, very important. Takes takes, it takes on h7, and hmm. that goes to d6, and after g4, g6, rook e1 is on the board. Ooh, looks a bit scary with the bishop on h7 there. The rook h8, bishop g6. Yeah, Ooh. so g4 yeah. first, right? Or. Mm -hmm. No, I mean if uh, black plays rook h8 to trap the oh, bishop, it, yeah, bishop, immediately bishop g6. Bishop g6. Yeah, so if king takes, we have this rook e6. Yeah. yeah. Um, so if yeah, yeah, what? Okay. What should? And what about do, rook yeah? d7? Just yeah, bishop, g8, then bishop g8. Yeah, then bishop g8. Yes. So what about we move the knight then? Uh. Where? Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> Let's say knight f7. Ah, oh, you have f5 maybe. No, f5, knight g5. g5. Yeah, there is... Ah, actually, that's a good question. What to do after g5? Ah, knight f7, what to do? h4 first. Oh, but there's rook h8. Rook h8 is there. Yeah. Why can I go f5? Or I don't want to do it. No, f5, f5, f5 knight g5. g5. Attacking oh, wait. this yeah, at the same time. Threat. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. okay. Right, so that's why you said it's the h4. Okay, okay. Hmm. So, do we have anything? What is the move after knight f7? It should be okay. Yeah, if, if g5, then king goes back to g7. Rook h7. And rook h8. Oh, is this like this? And if takes, check. King mm -hmm. goes here, only move. And you can knight just g5, take this. Yeah. Knight, But I can... knight g5. Yeah, knight g5. Yeah, otherwise it would have been interesting to see this yes. position. Yeah. So this doesn't work then, or... Takes, takes, yeah, check here, and you cannot protect g5. No. Nah. 
Okay. Yeah, so what to do after knight f7 then? Mm. So let's check your idea, h4. h4, unfortunately, there is a uh, rook h8, h8 no? right away. Yeah, and f5, rook h7. Knight f7 is on the board. So go, go, go h8 ah, has played it. Rook e6 and fg6. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. So f5. Okay. Ah, she wants. Okay, takes rook this and check yeah. this. And then takes this. Yeah. But rook h6. No, 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 rook h6. Okay. Oh, no, h5. H5. Yeah. No, no, no. I have to take rook h4 and then, uh, yeah. Yeah, this one h5. h5. Yeah, and rook h4. Rook goes here. So rook has to take. But that just could take. Rook g4. Yeah. Rook g4 first. And... Black wins, no? King, yeah. King f7 and. Yeah, wins. I think so, yeah. Okay, wow. So h4 hmm. also doesn't work. No, but she's in pre her preparation for sure because it's like oh. she spent what eight minutes. Yes, yes, yes. But wow. I think she started to spend time at uh, night d six before. Mm -hmm. Let's see how uh -huh. much time did she spend on this? Um, yeah, for g four, yeah, five minutes. Okay, it's not much. Not much. Uh, yeah. And then right away, rookie one. Yeah, I think oh, she still knows. Knight f7 is not. No, knight f7. Hmm. This is tough, but I'm sure she's uh, in her file somehow. Except if she's on tilt, so like we no, saw no, no. in, in no. Alirisa's game, but I don't think so. No, yeah. Huh. What about so, to stop yeah. knight f3? Uh, no, I was thinking of king g2 or something. Mm. King g2 or king f2. Like, if you go something like this, now we can have... Oh, but we don't have g5. Or maybe now. Maybe we sh Maybe the idea is just to play with uh, the three pawns, yeah? Like, uh, uh, let's say h4. You go h4. And take on g6. G yeah. How did, how did we have the g5 line? No, it's not g5 here. We can right? play f5 here and takes this and give a check and then give a check like this. Yeah, king f8, but this is not good because king is really far away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what else is there then? Stop. Imagine you don't. You don't. Aha. Okay, yeah. so I go g5. Okay. okay. King g7, rook e7, um, rook h8. Also, rook f8 we have to consider, but yeah. let's, st yeah. let's stay with rook h8, bishop g6, king g6, f5. Okay. Mm, tricky hurry. Yeah, this, this may work. So, Ah, oh, you grab all this pawn, I'll grab all this pawn too. Yeah, yes. we, we change everything. But rook f8 uh, this, was say, my concern. Yeah, let's, let's see rook f8 after this. Yeah, and this should be fine. Right, so knight f7, g5, king here, rook e7, and now rook f8. Yeah. yeah. And g5 already was played. Okay. So we are on the right track. So yeah, what about rook f8? I think it's just play h4 takes an f5. No, I think it's rook b7, king h7. But you can also take this one and rook b7, yeah? No, no, no. Actually, that pawn should be there because uh, uh, that pawn is the reason why king cannot come, yeah? Uh -huh. And king is stuck. So now rook c7. No, no, no. Rook oh, c7. rook c7 instead of rook a7. Yeah. So when black. Like, Plus king g7 or king g8, you take rook c6. But why does not playing for an edge here is? Uh, it's more like this. Uh, if you know everything, uh, we make <laughs> draw kind of positions. But isn't it white here who should be careful? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, this looks real. Maybe something else. Maybe something else is the, we are missing something. But what else? The king has to go back anyway, right? Yeah. And... Rook e7, I think it's, yeah, it should be the move. But after rook f8. I guess we'll see, right? 
I mean, <laughs> I was thinking about F five here, but okay, F five take and, and just F six. Oh, oh, F six immediately. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But, and King goes um, here. And now H four. No, King H eight. King H eight. Okay. What's the king H eight is yeah, why? that there is no rook to seven check later. Uh huh. Okay. GM level. Okay. GM level. <laughs> Maybe knight here, yeah, and then. Yeah, quite dubious compensation for white, probably. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you, this has been your file, you don't go for that, yeah, with white pieces. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this uh, is just lost, probably. Yeah. King G7 what? is already on the board. Okay. Yeah, shall we see rook E7? Maybe, maybe... Uh, uh, rook E7, rook F8, and bishop G6? Yeah. I mean, what is the evaluation actually? Somebody from chat. I can I can us. toggle this on. Yeah. Let's go. And it's zero zero. Oh. Yeah, okay. Rook e six, yeah. King King G six, Rook E six and F five. That must be the draw. Sorry, this position, yeah? Rook E six. And then King G seven F five. You cannot F5. take this one because oh what's wrong with oh, this? No, nope. then it's King G two. Yeah, okay, so not f5, but king g2. Yeah. Okay. Ah, because knight can't come out. Ah. Uh... And rook the edge? Then probably this h4 and f5. You just start pushing everything. Yeah, just push. No, this is such a nice preparation. Like, really, yeah. you, can, you can get your opening out of this if... They are not careful. Uh, what if knight h8 actually instead of rook d8? Ah, engine doesn't care. The engine doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> but we do, so what do Maybe we do? King King G3 and Knight G6. Yeah. Maybe. Just Rook E4 oh. and then yeah. start pushing the yeah. H pawn. Rook E4. Yeah, yeah. That should be it. Yeah. This one. And Rook E4. And then, yeah, okay. start pushing this one. Good. So, yeah, probably this is still in uh, in the... Pre I mean, Anna in, is in her preparation. Mm -hmm. So, actually quite impressive preparation, I think. Yeah, it's a very, very deep preparation and let's see the current position and we can tell like the time situation, almost one hour difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... Do you know her second, uh, her team by any chance? These two players are somehow quite mysterious. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I'm sure if if I knew I would have mentioned it, but uh, I know Gretchkina yes, yes. is you, working... Usually with... you, you're like a big brother, you say, yeah, you... <laughs> You know, you know, we keep watching, yeah. Big brother there. keeps watching, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm here, uh, I mean, I, I saw, I know Gretchen and I has worked with a few of uh, good Russian grandmasters, but um, I yeah. don't know which one that she's currently working with. Mm -hmm. The same goes with uh, Anna, she's she's worked with lots of Ukrainian grandmasters too, and then yeah, I don't know which one that she's picking for her team for the candidates. Uh, let's switch. Which game do you want to look at? Let's check Vaishali's game. We haven't seen. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, Vaishali was a ten. Ten, yeah. Ten junkie. Okay. Uh, we saw the position up to. Actually, yeah. Um, actually, after after Bishop D six, Castle mm -hmm. Knight D seven and B three happened, and after Castle Knight G five, starting the attack. G6, Queen F3, Queen C7, H4. Wow, Farshali. <laughs> brave, very brave. And Knight C6, potentially just attacking on D4 and then taking the Bishop on C2. Um, and after Bishop A A3, Queen G7, Rookie 1 and H5. Actually, I have, I have to toggle this off so we can think really so what do we <laughs> where do we start where right? yeah Here. like <laughs> this is why to move that's that's a good start <laughs> okay why that's to move a... equal nice. material so let's let's take all the boxes the easiest one laura 
Yeah. So and and let the the grandmasters do their job. <laughs> yes. <laughs> This is what to move. Fact number one. Fact number two. Equal material. And what are the facts? Um, oh, almost in the similar time situation as well. Okay, now we're good. Let let Harry and Felix do the job. <laughs> yeah, it's it. and we we finish with uh, equal. <laughs> 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 yeah. So how do we try to understand this one? Okay, black uh, black would like to play knight d4, c d4, queen c2, but the bishop on d6 is hanging. So mm -hmm. bishop mm -hmm. takes a3, knight a3, the a3. knight on a3 defends the bishop yeah. on uh, c2, right? Yeah. And uh, black would like to play bishop uh, f5, but also d5 pawn is hanging. So uh, I think uh, black would probably keep the queen on d6 uh, to get bishop f5 and so on. That that should be, that will be probably black's idea here. Mm. But her last move the, with h5, I guess she's kind of threatening bishop g4, right? Yeah. 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 And then to go bishop f5, maybe. Yeah. Mm, uh, that's that's uh, a very good idea. Yeah. So, okay, let's say I just put it on the board, like, let's uh, put a move like rook a2, let's say. Yeah, bishop g4. The queen only has a few, what, two squares to go? Queen d3, I think. Queen d3, because if queen bishop f5. A, there is bishop f4. And if queen d3, there is this one. So we yeah, have a very, very tricky plan with this h5 on the board. Yeah. No, black is fine. Black is fine. But white is also yeah. fine, yeah? Both are fine, <laughs> but uh, it's always like... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we can we can guess or choose which color would we pick. I mean, uh, since this H5 has happened, I kind of prefer black. Just more activities coming and this bishop on A3, you know, and yeah. knight on D1 still doesn't know where to go. This knight on G5 is kind of like useless right now. I wanted her to play H5 herself, but uh, why didn't that happen? Um, instead of rookie one or something, maybe yeah, maybe good point. Check like after h yeah, knight c6, knight c6. Yeah. oh, it's something already like h5. Ah, it's already, um, uh, yeah, knight d4 here. is threatened, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we have to do something about knight d4. So she went bishop a3, king g7, and now she didn't go h5 because maybe h6 was h6 g5, maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but knight g, knight g five. But probably it does not six, work. Yeah? No, no. First, you need to take bishop a three. Ah, so this one yeah. take on h three first. Queen it takes and g five. No, no, no. I mean g five. Uh, before bishop takes h three, g five is okay. Uh, knight g5 and now bishop takes a3 oh a3 okay yeah let's say knight takes. knight takes a3 and h takes g6 g5 nothing happening with this here yeah takes just simply takes it ah no Maybe. you just take bishop g6 yeah queen f6 check knight g6 bishop g6 and white wins does white win No, it's yeah. still equal material. Point. I have queen e7 at the very yeah. least. Ah, uh, queen e7, yeah? Okay. Maybe it's still equal. Still okay, still equal. fine. Equal. Draw. You have to take, no. draw. <laughs> no, then it's draw, yeah. Then, then it's, it's draw, yeah. And maybe yeah, continue with bishop draw. f5 or something. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay, so... But h5 is a very interesting move to to happen here. So white has to care, has to be careful with this bishop g4, bishop f5 idea. So what can oh, white do then? Uh... <clears throat> do I develop? So what if I just take bishop d6 and Uh, yeah. And then you have bishop f5, what you wanted to achieve. Way for yeah, without the, g4. Yeah, this I don't know. I mean, you can choose. Okay, let's say let's with g4. Yeah. Queen goes yeah. to... Ah, 
You go to e3, yeah, because otherwise you you lose a piece. Can I go queen g3 actually? Mm -hmm. Queen g3. But the end game couldn't it be dangerous sometimes? See. Probably not, but I thought bishop f5 now. Yeah, bishop f5, bishop d1. Or would you like to insert rook ac8 first, so that we can hit on c3? Aye. Mm, yeah, maybe. No, you can't move, right? I go rook c8, b4. Ah, this one is hanging. No, no, d2 is hanging. D2 is also hanging. Okay, yeah, it's then. Okay, I accidentally make a good move. <laughs> yeah, d2 is hanging. Maybe bishop d3. Yeah, bishop d3, yes. And now bishop f5. Yeah, back bishop f1. Well, I want b4, knight b3, knight c5. Yeah, in that case, uh, white could mm -hmm. have something. Mm -hmm. Can we stop this idea? By the way, this knight h5 did happen in uh, Vidit Sikaro's Ooh, game. And d4. Oh, taking on knight. e2 first, actually. Yeah, ninety three and shall we shall we switch to that game? Uh, or you want to yeah, keep staying on this one? Uh, we can actually. Yeah. We can. Harry is the boss. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what we have here after Bishop eight oh knight h five knight h five and knight e three um, as we mm -hmm. analyzed it before, but here instead of knight f four, mm -hmm. Hikaru took on a two first and knight e seven. Yeah. And d4. This is peacefully oh. complicated. What does that mean? It's both <laughs> complicated is, but peaceful. Is it, is it peace? Is it peaceful or complicated? <laughs> she, she wants you to decide what it is. <laughs> It's really complicated. That's uh, you need a clip for that. <laughs> because you see, all the pieces are w still within their territories. No other pieces mm -hmm. are entering the opening territories yet. But yeah. there's still so many pieces on the board, and all the pawns are still intact. And white has this idea in the center. Black has this idea on the king side. Poof. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was just thinking if I can do e takes d4, c takes d4, d5. e takes d4, c takes d4, and d5, yes. Uh-huh. And then... And e5, probably. Yes. f5. f5. Oh. I was thinking Let's of go. c5. No, but that's a bit too uh, much. C f Actually, yeah, that, that was also one of the things I was considering, uh, c5. But uh, but yeah, it looks nice. But what's happening after this one here? Yeah? yeah, DC five is the problem. It just looks nice, but uh, I don't see yeah. any good follow up because this pawn again. Now it's becoming also A five is hanging. Yeah. So okay, let's go with your move F five. Maybe just E takes F six, and it's good for White. Knight G four or Knight E five. Yeah. Probably why it's doing good here. Oh, knight g4. Yes, this knight has a square mm -hmm. over here. But if I take this, okay, you have knight e5. Okay. Yeah, this yes. is good. So, okay. No, e d4 is not good. But then what to do? d5. Now? Yep. Can I play that? It's a very committal move. It is, it is. We are living in a comital world too. <laughs> so much philosophy wow. <laughs> at the middle of the night. Yeah, <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> okay, what what do you do? I mean, I didn't calculate much. It just looks nice. It's um, how do you take the pawn? Like any of the pawns. So D takes E four. D takes e5. Mm. Uh, let me take maybe just d4 and then knight g6 or something. Yeah, that's what you will do. Queen g queen e4. Yeah, what what did you say, Felix? Knight g6? Maybe yeah, knight g6. Knight g6. Yeah. Okay, 
again, my job is to come up with a move and let them do the work. <laughs> Knight g6. Oh, this is what we call with the positional sacrifice. Oh, ha, ha, ha. There you go. I didn't, I didn't giving uh, a positional uh, masterclass here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we are sacking a pawn here, but in return, we get like a pretty good position. I mean, the rook on a2 is a bit mm. disconnected with the rest of the pieces. So we might have time to get, grab this pawn at some point. Yeah, this rook on a2 is pretty uh, uh, annoying. Mm -hmm. I thought about knight c4 here, but again, maybe Horace's idea with f5 could be powerful. Yeah, f5 Ooh. is the problem. I didn't see that far, but now I'm liking black position. Queen C2. Maybe I can even go to the end game, Queen D3. But probably not necessary, yeah. A bit too soon, yeah? Keep keep the fun alive. <laughs> yeah. I think it's fine for you, but not for the position, yeah. Oh, uh, what happened? Oh, Hikaru took on on D4. Yeah, uh, probably it will come, d5. So, you think that this is going to happen? Um, e, d4, c, d4, and d5. Mm. By the way, maybe c5 is also an option, yeah? We Instead should consider d5. that. Yeah, c5, yeah. But after d5, you probably have to act fast, yeah? Not... Yeah. To get strategical problems. No, knight c4 is coming. No, I I like d5 more. Mm -hmm. Or maybe we can switch to rook b8 here. And then preparing mm. for b5. Yeah, but okay. Something like bishop c3 could also yeah. be uh, quite... Bishop c3. And rook a1, I mean, no, this is uh, this is going in wrong direction. Okay, so in d4, Fidit has to take with the pawn, yeah, and he took it, cd4. So what, what could is be, this idea? Mm -hmm, what could be Hikaru's idea? So d5, e5, and you suggested c5, Irene, immediately, yeah? No, it was not me. c5 was Harry's. Uh, uh, no, uh, after d5, e5. Oh, d5, e5, c5, yes. Yeah, this was one idea, no? Yeah. In but then we don't see what's going to happen after this. So maybe just rook c8 and get the pawn with the rook. Oh, Mozichuk's endgame is very interesting, but okay. I just want to wait for... I mean, it went to this rook knight versus ah, rook. Yeah. So she didn't go for the pawn on c6 then, yeah? Yeah, it's yeah. probably anyway, it's zero, 0 but... Yeah. Okay, uh, I think we have to also see the games between Alreza versus Ian, because yeah, we haven't sure. seen that for so long. Uh, where we left it? Something like this, yeah? And then yes. knight e5, takes takes, and then knight d7, bishop goes back to b2, d4, a4, e5. Okay, and then queen f3, bishop here, knight there. It's actually nice kings in the end from... From Oliveza? Yeah, I mean, if you reverse the colors, it's excellent Kings Indian. The knight is probably terribly misplaced on d7. Every piece rather... is misplaced. The bishop is misplaced, <laughs> yeah. Also on h7, yeah. Knight yes, d7. I mean, bishop, uh, all, both bishop and knight, everything. Probably the, the only thing that's not misplaced and we can have it in a normal king. Kings Indian is the king. <laughs> <laughs> The king is not misplaced. Yes. <laughs> it's exactly on the right square. But at some point, he will just start pushing uh, uh, the, I mean, just bishop d7, f5, g4, or something like this can start. Yeah, I mean, bishop d7. Bishop on 
and then he can go for f5, f5 g4 f5 and g4 and... all this attack yeah. and then yeah this poor bishop oh. is not doing anything what if i try to start my own counter play somehow prepare a6 but probably it's gonna be hard because a6 right away i guess you take and take on b6, b6 yeah. yeah but it's okay. gonna be hard to prepare it also putting the net on d5 after that is probably yeah is the best it's bad yeah. news so how how should okay so ian is under some problem here i like uh, i like white's position i don't know how much is uh, maybe it's like i mean it should be slightly better for white in terms of computer evaluation i think this is alireza is exactly the player that uh the chess world needs right now with with his ag style not only in his approach not only in his chess approach and how he chose uh the opening prep but also his Patient style, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I don't see any other reports about other players. I only no. saw that Ali Reese's patient Levon, style. Levon, Levon, Levon. Yeah. Oh, Levon. I mean, in this, in this, in this candidates, um, I mean, yeah. of course, Levon is um, a huge rival of Ali Reza in terms of patient. <laughs> um, they have different different style, but but equally unique. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, we might actually see another first in this round because looking at the evaluation i have my multi-board view coming up soon and we see that how i think this is already 0 0.7 0 0.8 for ali Reza, close to one close to yeah, plus it, one plus plus one is uh, very reasonable in this position let's I'm take a look surprised. yeah plus one yeah yeah so okay. wow well, Will Ian suffer his first loss in this round? We'll see. It looks like it's closing. I mean, it is going to that direction. Okay, uh, but that's that's such a nice idea, uh, Harry, that you mentioned. They have white just want to take on this, f5, g4, and, and create all these attacks, yeah? And should we put the king on here and then rook on g1 as well to get okay, the suffering this is going? Okay, too... too... <laughs> This is too too long. <laughs> too this long. is too long. I mean, simply the bishop on h7 is uh, mm. misplaced. Yes. Really. It's a pawn. Yeah. A big pawn. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Worthy pawn. Let's go. Okay. Back. Yeah, we can go to to Anna's game now because yes, this end please. game, like you said, is oh. So we saw this. Okay, far, far, far from knight f7 g5 king g7 rook e7 and rook f8 and here anna took on b7 king takes h7 and took on a7 mm -hmm. and after rook, king g8 just rook <laughs> c7 which is i think now it's pretty good right because then how are you protecting this knight d8 if you play knight mm -hmm. d8 just a4 so sooner or later you'll get the pawn anyway ah yeah you're just pushing but maybe that's draw no Possibly. Probably everything is a draw. Probably everything <laughs> is a draw, yeah. Or maybe if, if knight d8, if you push this one, then this is hanging. So you have to play this maybe, and then after this takes, and then knight here maybe, something like this. No, but uh, you could have played, you could play a4 maybe. That was his, uh, her yeah, point. This one, and, and a4. Yeah, a4. X. And now rook c8 a5. or something. Oh, a5. Oh, a5. Yeah, 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 also rook c8 is fine. Rook c8 is okay. Mm -hmm. But like can I play knight 6 just... instead of rook f4? After a4? Yeah, knight c6, knight e6, then takes and rook knight e4, rook... rook c5. Yeah. Yeah, I guess also. But at peaceful. some point, this will also end in a draw. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah, this will be draw. Yeah. Is it 0 0.00? Uh, in this current situation? Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Eventually we okay. get there. And then okay. also I think in this... Ooh, 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 ooh. Knight h8? Knight h8. Knight h8? Yes. No way. Knight h8 is Knight not possible. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Find a better move, Harry. <laughs> oh, knight d6. Uh, knight d6. Uh, knight f5. No. Nope. Rook d Rook a8 maybe. Just Rook maybe. Eight. Rook, eight. Rook a8 eight. and takes on c6, yeah. king g7 first. Mm -hmm. Right? 
Yeah, but okay. we will get uh, rook oh against God. knight and rook probably. <laughs> mm -hmm. no. Rook c6, rook a2, rook c5. Rook where? No, it will be just rook, rook, rook versus rook knight. That's why it's uh, it's draw. Yeah, but I, I'm just trying to find a reason why the computer likes black at this position. So rook a8 was not the best not move, the right? Not the best move, yeah. Okay. I mean, then it has to be knight d8. I don't yeah. see any Yeah, knight d8, knight d8 has d8. to be the and, and now after a4... Um, Ooh, a4 is losing. Why? Knight e6. Wow. Knight e6. Knight e6, king f7. Not the best move. Not the best move? Not the best move. Rook f4? Not the best move. <laughs> ah, rook f7. Rook f7. And then what? Rook f7 and not rook. Not the best no. move. <laughs> Oh, it's that's not... actually pretty. What can take yeah, and oh, play a5? Take, take, take. Oh, just take. Oh, take rook and then move. Oh, yeah, that's okay. nice. Like oh, this, wow. and then it's unstoppable now due to this spawns. <laughs> there is 96. But, but I but think it is 96. The email bar is uh, maybe. It should be 96, yeah? Okay. And rook c6. And now what? Now King what f7. King mm. f7, a, a5. Uh, rook eight. Oh, and you're just very, very much. Mm. Oh no, king e seven. King e seven. Okay, this is king e seven and yeah. rook f four. Uh, yeah, controlling the rook. Uh, sorry, controlling yeah. the pawn from behind. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It was quite an adventure, trying to get which one is right. Um, yeah. So rook c seven, knight d eight. So knight d eight. It is rook c eight, probably. Yeah. Ah, okay. but then some draw somehow it will be there. Knight e6, rook c6, and mm -mm. oh, wow, she messed up something or what? No, no, this is my analysis. Uh, rook c7 is still on the board right now. So if knight d8, uh, Gorchkin hasn't moved yet after rook c7. So if knight d8, oh, no, but here... knight d8, rook knight e6 is winning, yeah, by evaluation, I guess. Oh, yes. So, then why you see yeah, uh, yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah. we 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 crashed the engine we crashed the engine <laughs> <laughs> oh it's 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 Harry's fault yes okay so I I'd like to come back to this moment actually after take so because you mentioned in this position rook c7 instead of ooh also bad also bad so. Could it be h4. h4 or f5 or things like that? No, but we checked bishop e6, no, at some point. But when I mean... Bishop, it... bishop g6. You remember that it was 0, 0.00. It was not rook b7. Like this, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, bishop g6. And rook mm. e6. Mm. Yes, yes, this was uh, the way to equalize the position. No, but mm. I also... Remember that in this position, right? Takes here, and then you mentioned about rook c7, which is ah rook c7, uh -huh. also. which is okay. But so in this position, apparently rook a7 and rook c7 is in the best move. So it has to be any of these pawn moves then. Yeah, h4, h4, I f5. Think. Yeah, but if h4, it's also computer doesn't like it. Maybe it has to be quite concrete. No, no, no. no. F5 not. is uh, f5. Maybe just bring the king. Yeah, king. King g2. Yeah. What's wrong with this? I picked a bit because I, I wanted to be like chat uh -huh. and now I want you to find it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so powerful right now. Well, what, um, what could be the move to maintain this 0 0.1? So I can say that rook a7 is the correct way, okay. uh, correct move. And then the second okay, move you good. have to find. Ah, and there are only okay, two moves. And yeah. the king and here. here you have two moves that keep the equality. Everything else is, I think, maybe lost. Wow. Is it rook d7? Just stopping the knight from moving? No, but it doesn't she's, really make sense. She's, uh, she's, not, uh, <laughs> she's not telling. She's not telling. I feel so <laughs> No, rook d7, knight h8. Ah, the knight goes the other way. Yeah, because just rook f4 and rook f4. Yeah? So maybe then it start. I mean, it, it's time to start to just bring push the, king. the pawn, yeah? Or this or maybe one? Maybe just push the pawn. Mm -hmm. That's one of the correct ways, yes, immediately. And knight here, then it's just a4. Some a5. a5. 
Yes. If rook takes. And rook d7. Knight stays oh, here. Oh, no. A a6 first. Maybe a6 first, just in case. I'm not sure, though. Uh, no. Nope. It's difficult. It is. Rook c7. But then doesn't that transpose if we play rook c7? No, no, no. I mean, ah, instead of a6. Uh... Rook c7, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, I think you just have to grab the pawns as much as you can. Yeah, yeah. no, g6 pawn is the most difficult pawn to, uh, to take. Get. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Ah, but we have many moves, actually. We do, yeah. So mm -hmm. we have this position, and then what did Anna do? Anna played rook c7. Yeah. And then... Wait, can I just say the second move before? Oh, yes, 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 uh, please. Yes. So king g2 is oh, the second. Oh, see, move. I told you. It's time to bring the king. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Just to make sense. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Okay, so we have rook c7, followed by rook a8, and rook takes c6, and ah, king rook g7. A8, rook a8 is not winning, though. Didn't we check that? Yeah. No, we uh, wanted to play knight d8. Yeah, knight d8 was the... Was the winning move now? Yeah, but, 98 is the winning move. But I think at yeah. this point, I think uh, Gretchen already set her mind to mm -hmm. making an easier draw yeah, instead of probably, uh, complicating yeah. Yeah, herself with all these yes, yes. ideas and then make a risk. Yeah. Because the draw is fine with black pieces, yeah. yeah? And then yeah. also yeah. judging from the time situation, like if, if she can have an early game, then she can come back fresh tomorrow. Yeah. Yes. No. So I think she she just said, okay, I'm just gonna make a draw easier with uh, without any risk, and rook a8 was on the board, rook c6, mm -hmm. and followed by king g7. Yeah. And yeah, the rest this is, is easier. Just draw. Mm -hmm. Rook c5 and yeah, f5. Rook c5 and then takes this one. F5. Yeah. Or h h4 is also possible. Yeah. Okay, f5. Okay, then let's switch to which game shall we take a look? Uh, we haven't had a look at Humpy's game, right? Oh, yeah, yeah let's do exactly. that. So, Humpy versus uh, Katrina Lahno. And it was a. Ragusin? Ragusin. Yeah, Ragusin. A3 takes takes. And C5. Mm -hmm. A4. Knight E4. E3 takes. Queen C2. Knight E4 takes takes. I think so far it's pre balance And after that, before queen b1. Okay, let's calculate. Or actually, let's a5, count how a5. many moves. Um, I mean... A5, no, what else? A5, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Before we get to the move, I like to count how the material. Ah, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I see. Yeah, we'll count the material first. Um, It's equal. Okay, let's, let's get... To see what's what's going on. Oh, the knight is under attack. Okay, a5. <laughs> oh, but a6 is on the board. So instead of a5, uh, Lahno played a6, mm. trying to challenge this attack on b4 with... Ah, it's actually a good mm -hmm. move, yeah? Queen b4, it takes b5. Queen b4, takes b5. And if I take it like this... Maybe a5 is interesting. Sorry? A5. Instead of queen b5, yeah? Yeah. So ah. a6, oh, sorry. queen b4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Queen b1, yeah. a6, queen b4, a b5, and a5. a5. Yeah. Yeah. But I can just... Ah, uh, you can put your knight on d4. So let's say I play bishop d7. And then I put bishop b2. Bishop b2. Let's put bishop on c6. Knight d4. Mm hmm Let's uh A6 is coming, yeah. A6 is coming, yeah. No, oh, thanks for notifying me. Uh what to do here? Take back. Oh actually <laughs> take back. <laughs> Harry, don't be too savage. <laughs> Let me take back then. <laughs> yeah, what if we try to hit on C5? Let's, let's yeah, you could have done uh, before bishop say. before bishop d7, no? Because like this, yeah, maybe and something, yeah. Queen c7, queen e7. Let's... Yeah, queen c7, maybe. But I can still go bishop b2, right? Queen c5? Ah! 
Oh, you get the <laughs> pin, yeah. <laughs> that was the my fun, point. The funny thing is, uh, with with the without the pawn on b five, I can take uh, rook a five. Yeah. Ah, oh, <laughs> yeah. That's the yeah. Having an extra pawn makes you suffer. Good. It's not good. Yes. Anything that's too excessive is not good. Yeah. You just to, need yeah. to have it equal. Today it's like uh, we are having philosophical masterclass <laughs> by you. <laughs> I mean, already so many of them. Yeah, I have to Which write it is, down. Yeah, it's very funny yeah. because in the chat they were discussing French philosophers like an hour ago. So ah. I guess it's just that kind of day today. <laughs> It happens after many days of uh, commentary. You know, <laughs> commentary. You're just getting wiser and wiser. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Actually, yes. When you are wiser, you can talk anything. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so yeah. Bishop B two is nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bishop B two is nice. Yeah. After queen c seven, yeah, we just play bishop B two. But in any case, uh, it's white who who has uh, upper hand. Maybe mm -hmm. you know, practically, it's easier. Uh, from white side but what doesn't Katrina like with a5 in this position because it looks just you know easy having the outpost on b4 with the knight <clears throat> maybe bishop a3 okay no more outpost for the knight mm -hmm. if knight c5 bishop a b4 takes takes and Okay, probably she considers zero. this to be unpleasant, which I can understand, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, so after a6, queen takes b4 already on the board. And it takes b5, and now Connor is thinking a5 will be very interesting to see in this position. But is queen b5 so easy for, for black? Yeah, I wanted to... Yeah, that's question. also, that's also, yeah, another... Maybe a5 is stronger, but... Like, so, what, what does black play here? Rook, um, rook a5, maybe? Uh, queen d7, queen e8, trying to exchange ah, the queen. queen d7, yeah. Queen but d7. queen d7, maybe bishop a3. Or ah, rook a4, rook a4. Yeah. Ah, no, rook a4, c6. So queen, what happens? Queen e8 Let's... then. Queen e8. Queen e8. Okay. <laughs> Deep. Deep. Yeah. So queen e8. Let's say. And then after this, at least now I, I can have this. And you Are take you sure? this one first. See, I'm wise now. And then you take this with the rook. <laughs> and there is no more c6 discovery. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but you wow. did you count the pawns? Wow. Oh, let me count it. Uh, I'll be fine after rook takes a4. <laughs> but you are one pawn down. Do I? Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's true. But okay, I have, I have, I have a, I have a line, and my knight is fine. I think you should be fine. Yeah, this is the time to tell some philosophical thing, no? When you are one <laughs> pawn down, yeah. But I have this composition. Yeah, the composition should be enough. Oh, what happened? Yeah. Rook a five. So queen takes b five already on the board, and mm -hmm. not a five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a five would be okay. quite interesting. So rook a five. Uh, oops. Um, a direct hit to the queen and c5 pawn. Queen b4, I guess, yeah? Queen b4, yes. And then you have to take this with... You can take with any, yeah? With either of the pieces. The knight, maybe? Rook c5, no? Oh, rook c5. c5. Nice. We're not afraid Anything, of bishop yeah. a3. Bishop a3. Rook e8. Rook e8. Just fearless, yeah? And rook c4 next or something. I mean, some move with the rook. Mm. Maybe that's why rook c1. Or rook d1. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hard. Okay, this is this, this yeah. is just a position, no? This is, this is, yeah. The position is still rook f5, but I'm just noticing the game between Alvisa versus Ian Nepomniachi mm. went exactly what Harry predicted. So, except that where is the knight? Hang on, let, let's yeah. let's go back. To, let's go back to this game, El Reza versus Ian, because uh, where did Bishop C one? Bishop C one was the last move. Yeah. Queen C six and oh, deep. Oh, he took it. 
he didn't want to give him the chance to move the bishop. <laughs> that much, Harry, I can explain to our chat. That no, to C7, to C7, to C7. <laughs> I mean C7. C7, A6, B5. That's what ah, I meant. Okay, okay, okay. C7, A6, B5. This is the idea of Queen C6. So yeah, that's yeah. why. Okay, now, now. You're showing your class, I see. <laughs> uh, knight d6, queen d6, bishop d7, queen d7, and f5. f6, and g4. King f7, h4. Yay. I mean... King I, e7. King e7, like yeah. like what What was the game? Like Petrosian or Ullman? Like just like putting the king to the other side just because it's getting attacked here? Uh, Austrians must answer this question. Oh, yes, we know the classics. Yes. What, yes. What, who who played that idea, Felix? Petrosian played it uh, many times, many times. I think, yeah, this, uh, this King mark. March. Yeah. yeah. But I think I, I see some game by Ullman himself too, like playing similar style like this. I mean, they have both similar style anyway. So yeah, H4. And maybe, maybe White will also copy the idea, attacking from this... Uh, squares and then put the king somehow on a2 no 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 a2 would be not so nice i think okay. it's better on f2 <laughs> that's too far that's too far yes okay yeah. so no king e7 i guess yeah king e7 and do we start pushing the pawn or do we prepare first i think it's better you should push as soon as possible and also you have this idea well this is it an idea to also try to distract from the other side Mm. Yeah, perhaps yes. But we have some do. some counter aspects, some some g six ideas to play g six myself. When in this position? Uh, a, maybe g, a, g and g six, maybe. Uh, I wasn't sure if I want to include that. Like this. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. But then, because if I take uh, first on g five, then there might be some bishop g five. Mm -hmm. Ideas. Hmm. Oh, G6, huh? So G takes F6 and Bishop H6. Wait, I don't understand. Here. Uh, yeah, G takes F6, Rook F6, oh, and Bishop, Bishop H6. H6. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I was thinking maybe I give the exchange like G takes F5. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And allow and Bishop, Bishop G5. G5. And F4 or maybe. Or rook g8 first. Yeah, rook g8 first, and where does the king run? F. F. Maybe f to you. Maybe maybe first e takes f5. No, no. Then you have king d6. No, no. King f2. King f2 is quite risky, you know. Yeah. Oh, interesting. But where is the risk? Yeah, because we just want to. Yeah, play you're right. E one. E five. Yeah, E five as well. Something like this. Okay. Yeah, interesting. I think C five has been played in Hikaru's game. Okay, we'll get there. But I think what is right now uh, in time trouble is Faisali, and the games are very interesting. But Faisal oh. is in, well, kind of like almost in time oh. trouble. But look at how the game has developed. Uh, we no, set the position up to h5. And here Faisal played c4. f6 hitting the knight takes takes. And then c5. Queen goes back to c7. Knight h3. Knight takes d4. I don't know who, whether she planted all the way or maybe it's just a blunder. Not no, no, she, she missed F6. She missed F6, clearly. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she missed F6. Takes this, check. Rook C7, <clears throat> yeah, this, Rook F7, yeah, okay. and now. Yeah. This is lost. This is lost, yeah? Yeah, this is lost. Wow. So, one, unfortunately, if Fashali lost again, then it's going to be her fourth loss in a row. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's going to be tough to come back from that. Yeah, no. So this guy, this game is actually, I mean, could finish anytime soon because I don't see any, any counter play by White. Because, no, nothing. Okay, and yeah, she is. Yeah. So. Oh, I mean, it's a sad day for Faisali, of course. Um, yeah. missing F six, yeah. 
Um, yeah, I think C4, here. F6, she missed. Because the idea is you cannot really take this because of bishop here. Queen. Mm. Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> right? Uh, but you can actually take here. But then, uh, what was the idea? Knight a3. Knight a3. Yeah. And if takes this, let's say? Queen c3. Queen c3. Uh-huh. Yes. So this is the and idea. And then, yeah. And then you get you get some material then, yeah? Yeah, but yeah. simply after c4, f6 is there. F6, I mean, yeah. this is, this is Harry, um, you are the most... Um, experience among us in this commentary um i'm being i'm being very polite there <laughs> yeah so uh Faishali, this is this is really unlike her because we've seen so many games yeah. of hers like she's always playing almost in a different level but this is actually a different level of hers but to the worst so um in my observation the three losses that she suffered might have affected her psychologically. Yeah. And yes, um, clearly. my question to you is, I'm sure with all the experiences that you had uh, in chess, um, at some point you must have this type of situation, right? And how did you try to bounce back from all the losses to keep going on in the tournament? Well, I think, uh, yeah, I, I, I think my worst tournament was uh, maybe in 2013 Capablanca Memorial, probably like minus three or something like mm -hmm. that. So mm -hmm. that was uh, really bad. Um, I mean, you obviously try to win every game, but uh, somehow sometimes nothing works. You know, it's like... Uh, uh, you miss like every tactic, you get nice positions, but then somehow everything goes against you. Uh, it's <laughs> better to just finish that tournament and, <laughs> to, you know, prepare for the next one. Uh, there's nothing much you can do about it. But of course, if you had like, you know, you win some games, you lose some games, that's a different story. That's That's like, you know... Uh, ups and downs, but uh, when there are some tournaments where nothing works for you. Yeah, and I mean, I think your approach... Did you have any time in such situation? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, I don't. But, uh, okay. well, I think I think these days, compared to the older days, like you have your computer, you have Netflix, you have your friends, you have your mobile devices to talk with friends on on right i think it's a little bit easier to cook maybe felix can back me up on that how do you cook <laughs> yeah with your for losses? sure <laughs> many many bad behaviors to, <laughs> please to... don't mention all <laughs> yeah, yeah i won't don't I won't. mention any any actually yeah <laughs> <laughs> what about you laura what what do you usually do when you suffered with a few losses in a row um yeah it's it's just very hard it, because you, I'm in my head all the time then. Mm -hmm. So like you, I try to turn my brain off with movies, uh, series, going on walks, music, everything helps. So I'm very happy uh, that we have all these things available to us. But somehow, you know, chess is a psych psychological game that even, you know, next day you have to wake up and play a game again and go through the same emotions again and again and... It's tough, and Vaisha I, I feel Vaishali. I think I had a few tournaments like her, so um, yeah, I, I, yeah, I think it we doesn't all, feel great. We all sympathize on Vaishali, and hopefully, hopefully, for the remaining games of the event, she can bounce back and and climbing up the leaderboard. And let's take a look at the game between Fidit versus Sikara because there are some moves already played there. So after CD5, wow. sorry, CD4, uh, yes, so he could have played D5, E5 was already played, and preparing for C5 apparently by playing Rook C8. So Rook A3 and now C5. So Laura, after all, my C5 idea was not really, you know, was not really a joke because it is an idea, but then I just had to prepare it before. <laughs> yeah, Rook C8. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. DC5 and Rook takes C5. Queen d1 and knight f4. So we have this current position. 
It looks a bit like a mess. Felix, enlighten me, please, on this position. I yeah, wish I could. A, that's <laughs> actually what uh, Hikaru probably was hoping for, right? Yeah, From uh, I features. think Hikaru will be very happy with what he got, also considering the time situation currently. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I peeked at the engine just before the C5 when we were analyzing F5, C5. And and actually in that position, a black only had one one good move, which was knight F4. So this rook C8, C5 is... is um... Oh, you mean in this position eh? with C5? Yeah, yeah. In, so, instead of C5, knight F4, she says. Knight, yeah, knight F4 is apparently like the only way to keep the position equal. Ah, immediately um so yeah rook c8 c5 is not objectively objectively the best way to continue but of course as we see with it also this rook a3 idea and and yeah now it's of course playable for both sides still maybe b4 or yeah that could be a problem Is it? Is it a problem? What do I mean, it takes b4, I guess you would play. Mm -hmm. uh, b bishop takes b4 and rook um, c8 or c6. Mm, not sure. Mm. Okay, okay, let's go. Let's say rook c8. Yeah, yeah. No, rook c8. <laughs> no, rook c8 because maybe some knight d4 or something right. mm -hmm. might give. Because still bishop e7, queen e7 is there, so. Yeah, b4. b4 is already on the board. So we mm -hmm. are already on the right track. We might see this position on their game, actually. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, queen e7 hitting the rook on a3. So what should we do? Yeah, we just rook b3. Rook b3, yes. Be free. Queen e e six. Hmm. I mean, this is like uh, it's quite quite a mess. So yeah. I think uh, well, probably Injun will say it's anyway equal, but uh, it's very unusual like position. Look. Yeah, yeah, it's very yeah, much it's equal. equal. Yeah. Uh... But okay, uh, I mean, it's a game. It's not like some rookie one Berlin, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, this is very much a game because yeah. E even, yeah, just by looking at the evil bar from the beginning to this position, like the game is up and down all the time. So yeah. now it says equal, but we, we can, yeah, I yeah, don't know. I don't understand that position very much, so... That's that's why we have you here, and I'm very happy about that. I would I would hate to commentate this position, as I would just I would suggest all the moves, and then after suggesting all the moves, we would figure out what's going on. That's also not bad, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't know if we have and that much time. Uh, yeah, and what's going on between uh, Lay versus uh, Gil Salimova's game? Because Oh. What's happening here? Um what happened? Where yeah, did the what happened queens next? go is my question because this g4 h4 looked I e5. Okay. Um, Irene, yeah. yeah, sorry, you were muted, I think. Yeah, I was okay. actually hiding myself before because I I had to sneeze. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> and I forgot to unmute my mic. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay, I was, I was, um, yeah, we, we left it long ago after rook g1. Um, mm -hmm. but now, 
to me, black is fine after a long castle, maybe after, yeah, shouldn't be any problem, right? But, uh, okay, bishop e3, bishop e3, it's, uh, 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 bishop, f, bishop f4. Bishop f4, yes. Mm. Yeah, should be fine, fine for black, I mm. mean, fine for both. Yeah, yeah, looks like fine for both sides and yeah, could be another draw, but Litting G, she always likes to grind in the end game, so we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 what well, as an opening, this is what I don't like about Litting G. Like, man, she's <laughs> just so tough. It's it's so hard to, you know, to get let's say you put like a quick draw variation, but with her, she just keeps playing, 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 playing until you can prove that it's a draw. So mm -hmm. <laughs> Bishop E3 is on the board. I think we're going to see Bishop F4 soon because I don't. Okay, castle. I'm just showing it to the chat. Uh, mm -hmm. You will fall on like this, this, and then this is going to be better for for white. So you don't want to fall to something like that. And Bishop E7 would be a more passive move, I would say. I could, I cannot, I cannot find a reason why Bishop E7 is better than Bishop F4 because it looks like. Easy simplification with bishop f4. Yeah. Okay. Agreed. Is there any game that is currently critical? Uh, mm. uh, let's let's yeah. have a final check yeah. on this one. Sure. And, and I can call it for a break because, yeah, we are due for that one. Um, so we saw it long ago, rook c7, rook a8, takes here, takes here, and check here, takes a2, king goes up, rook a3, check. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a few more moves maybe until it will be end up with a draw, but um, yeah, I think it should be... Do you think it's easy to hold this position as white or as black? Because I'm not sure which one I would prefer to to play <laughs> with actually okay yeah. black no black yeah it's it's easier to play with black than with white yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay all right let's let's skip it that way and yeah um we're taking a short break uh just don't go anywhere because uh seven games are still currently going on we still need to update our ourselves on the game between ninja for example against fabi and others mm -hmm. too so don't go anywhere guys and stay tuned we'll come back in a few minutes
And welcome back to the Liches Commentary. We're here with Felix, Harry, and Irene. And let's go directly to the Gukesh uh, versus Prague game because we've actually left it some time ago. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what's going on at this point. Where did we leave it? Uh, somewhere yeah, here. You're not very to... long time ago. And F5. Oh, this is this is a position. Uh, and 97. Yeah, I remember this 97. And C4. And as Harry mentioned before, B6 with the idea of bishop A6. Um, and 96, CD6, bishop G5. Knight went back to F6. Knight D2. And now H6. Looks quite calm so far. Yeah. And knight goes back to d7 again. f4, e f4, bishop takes f4, castle, rook e1, knight e5, attacking d3, and kind of forced to play c4, I guess. And after mm -hmm. b5, b3, c5, knight here. Hang on. Ah, I was thinking of putting the knight over here, but maybe that doesn't work, yeah? Like this. Ah, b4, yeah. There's before, yes. And we have, do we have schmuck schmuck? Yay, we have schmuck schmuck. Yes, she came for the content. She came for the content. <laughs> now, good games attract her, you know? <laughs> yes. So, knight f3, knight g6, and bishop g3. And after queen d7, knight h2, a4, knight g4, and takes on b3, takes on b3, takes on c4 bc4 and bishop b7 and we have the current position now equal material and it's white turn to move okay hurry your turn what hurry you told all this so <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and tell some more <laughs> oh rook okay. b1 yeah i i like what white did with this c4 d3 e4 and f4 break before i i like it because this bishop is on b7 is slightly purposeless for now, except yeah. if black wants f5 at some point. Mm. Um, might be an idea. Might be an idea. Not at this so, point, yeah, because b7 no, bishop no, is hanging. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. one interesting idea could be like bishop c6, rook f6. Bishop c6, Oof. rook f6. Uh -huh. oh, wow. And, so you have um, to go bishop a4, I think is the mm -hmm. only move. But I mean, anyway, it's a funny idea. It's a funny idea, of I course. Don't, yeah. It's a funny idea. Just to show uh, for the chat, yes, and then it's a fork. The knight will go to d7, and yeah, yeah, funny idea. Yeah. And h5 is rook d6. Yep. Yeah. Can I go knight e5 though after after rook f6? Oh. No. <laughs> no? <laughs> Why? Bishop if Ah, yes. Not allowed he to wants... do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know if it works, but I don't see how it doesn't work. Yeah, it's uh, it's 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 fine, yeah. Destroying the beauty of rook f6. Yeah. I... I'm, I'm sorry. I'm mad. I'm mad that's, right that's now. What, uh, that's what Austrians do. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, Ruby1 is on the I mean, board still. of course, 93, 95 is the mm -hmm. usual idea which he, he will have in mm -hmm. mind. And, uh, I mean, I'm always look, looking for some Queen D2 some some kind of sacrifice on h6 but maybe it's too early never too early for sacrifices <laughs> i just <laughs> irene would agree i think um <laughs> uh i can can we all agree that white is just white doing is white is better, better? Yeah. Yeah. white yeah. is better here okay. yeah here, white cool. is better <laughs> i'm glad that's that we yeah. agree on that. <laughs> so we have three positions in the open section that what is currently better. Um, Ali Reza mm -hmm. is also enjoying his torture um, to Ian right now because it looks yeah. like mm -hmm. yeah, it looks like the ball is in Ali Reza's court. Uh, we saw the position up to h4. 
And here yeah. mm -hmm. Ian decided to play king e7. And rook e2, I think we analyzed g5, g5 and yeah. g6. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Slightly too early, I guess. Yeah, too so early, yeah. So Alireza decided to prepare for this attack by moving up the pieces first. And now after king c7, rook f1, at least all the pieces are in the mm -hmm. king's side. And here he's thinking. So now the question is, is g5 in a good time right now? Well, he can still play rook f2, rook g2, or uh, king f2, rook g1. He can prepare forever, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, but actually, you, you're you probably right, because how does he move the bishop? If he captures uh, a g5. After mm. g5, well, what is the move? Because if you don't do anything, then this is the uh, the, the move, yeah. So, <laughs> well, that's that's the problem. I am not sure because you know, uh, we just we can't really close everything here. Yeah. No, just imagine this position. Let's say, let's say I put king here, yeah, and then yeah. you yeah, put here, six. here, here. Yeah. Okay, now yeah. black is playing without. Oh, you can rook easily bishop. go up with this, yeah? Without this rook and with, without this bishop. So you <laughs> might, you, you actually want to close this all lines because you have this trust on c3 at some point to open up the c file and then you bring back all your pieces, see? Easy, easy explanation. <laughs> yes, <laughs> agree. So after g5... But I, but I also feel like somewhere uh, he brings the rook to g2 and uh, try to take on like this like yeah? or uh, no no i mean g5 is okay oh g5 is okay yeah g5 Takes is okay maybe. but at some point uh, if you take then you can't move the bishop that's okay. the problem so you have to take it with the f then or... no i mean if you just leave it bishop g8 let's say if you want to go stay with bishop g8 uh maybe g takes f6 g takes f6 and rook mm -hmm. Uh, h5 let's say I, I just want to show this idea mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I want to put the rook uh, rook g2 and rook g6 yeah. it's maybe not uh, winning yet but uh, it's quite unpleasant I think the other one is more unpleasant yeah to have the rook uh, on h8 and the bishop on g8 and then the pawn on here and just easy but win, how do I make progress no how do, uh, how do you progress free. Yeah, it's not easy because oh, yeah, C3 yeah. is not easy yeah, to he, manage. He played, also. A, he played a, a4, you know. That's mm. true, but can I just protect B3? Let's say before I do C3, let's, let's, okay, just hypothetically, like King B7 mm. here, here, and then I do this, okay, and then oh, what will be your move? I, I think you can, just, you can just show your idea. Okay, just uh, I'll move around like this, yeah, and then. Yes. Okay, and then let me switch. Wait, where does the queen go? Maybe to a3. No, uh, no, no, no. What? What? <laughs> queen to a3? I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna sacrifice something. Or maybe you know, queen to b2 just to be prepared. No, I think you can bring the rook, other rook to c1. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. That's, that's that's what what's gonna be my next. Like put it here, like mm -hmm. here, and then put the rook here. Oh, maybe mm -hmm. this one has to be good. No, no, I can I can play c3. If you don't take the ah, maybe you're four. right. Bishop to f2 and then c3. Yeah, I need I need my queen guarding the a4. Yeah, that's, uh, this that's, should be. That's what yeah, I thought. This should be winning. Yeah, but oh. even after c3, if I take, then how do you make progress? Rook c3 and bishop c5. Yeah, you you make a sacrifice on this at some point because this she cannot sacrifice. work. She will take somewhere. Yeah, put put the bishop on f2. I, I like it. Yeah, so. But don't make all these moves. It's too many moves to make. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah. But such a, such a nice idea. And and Ali Reza played g5. Oh. Yeah. No. It, it, we might see this. We might see this. Oh, we might really. We might see this g6 idea with bishop but g8. What else to do? Maybe black can play rook f8. Yeah. I mean, you give the pawn, but at least it's um, Which, rook h of 8. Oh, rook h of 8. And you take this, let's say. Because now, at least after g6, I I yeah. have one more rook up. Yeah, but yeah. here, this might be a problem. Oh, you, bishop h6? Bishop h6. 
Yeah, no, this is see. also quite bad. Yeah. It's just a question yeah. if this position with bishop on g8 is uh, is lost, yeah, then you yeah. probably have to play rook f8. <gasps> bishop g8. This happened. Oh no. G6. What? Okay, oh. I told you it will come. It will You'll come. Get it. G6, yeah. It will come. G6. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, I, 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 really... I play more and more like Ali Reza these days. <laughs> <laughs> Feels good. Okay, so G6 oh. might happen and wow. So. Is... I mean, it's mm -hmm. it's funny if, uh, I mean, the game is still going on and it's, uh, okay, long way. But if uh, Ali, Ali Reza wins this, it's like he beat uh, Gukesh and Nepo who were leading. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Who are leading, actually, not that's... who are. That's a turnaround for him since the beginning. Oh, yeah, yeah. But did Nepo have to lock his rook on h8? Was rook h8 necessary for him? I guess. Um, I mean... Yeah, probably because uh, he he was afraid of uh, g5, maybe. Yeah. Wow! 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 And so he's saying, okay, I can hold on without a rook yeah. and basically a bishop. Yeah, but <laughs> generally, I think if he can manage to get like this rook b1 and rook c3 yeah. and bishop p3, it looks uh, quite bad. Okay, so yeah. but where to stop it, right? Uh, how how to stop it? You can't. No. Uh, how do you stop uh, what? Well, White's <laughs> idea of this oh, white. You yes. cannot stop. You need to just wait, <laughs> sit and wait. What can you do? Yeah, that's exactly what I meant. Like, uh, if you just sit and wait and then let White does all these ideas, then, then uh, you're just waiting for your death announcement. Yeah, but yeah. Okay, this is uh, this is the problem with uh, this rook on h8 and bishop on g8, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, eventually the rook uh, will come to c1, uh, b1, c1, and c3. Mm -hmm. B1 and this goes to c3. Yeah, and then bishop to position yeah. this queen and bishop first. I think. Yeah, I think I like this bishop having on um, f2 just being ready. Yeah. So Alivrisa is still thinking, and I'm sure he's he's considering this idea with G6, but trying to get uh, the other idea on how to enter the position via mm -hmm. C3. Uh, we already have another result on the game between yeah uh, Anna versus Gurchkina, and yeah, this is the last position that we saw. Maybe then King G4 takes takes okay, then takes here, and the players agree to to draw. Okay, that's a uh, very well preparation by Anna. She only spent 17 minutes on her clock. I mean, excluding the increment, of course. But um, it shows you just like she understand, understand very well from start to finish. So uh, Hikaru is currently also kind of in a trouble against Fidit. Uh, where was the last time mm -hmm. I saw it? It's uh, Oh! Um, sorry, yep. Ferusha didn't play g6. He took on f6 and played h5. Oh, okay. Then he put the rook on, mm, put, put the rook rook on g2, rook g6. Yeah. Ah. Wow. Okay. So if, he, he thinks this is more winnable. So this is also, uh, also, away, yeah? also you can not just... easy. Not easy. Yeah. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just wanted to, to see. Oh, it still looks better for Fedruja. Yeah, she, he's bold with choices. Let's get back to this one. Yeah. Beat it versus Hikaru. Before we saw. Uh, before we saw. And rook cc8. Oh, without taking on b4. So Hikaru is like a pawn there. And a temporary sacrifice because he gained it. No, yeah. it's still a sacrifice. No, it is not. Sorry. I didn't see the pawn on the seven. It is not. So, yeah. But the evil bird likes white position. A because lot. of outside pass pawn, which you gave lecture yesterday for us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you attended my lecture, yeah? Yeah. Yes. Yep, yep. You were saying outside pass pawn, outside pass pawn. <laughs> <laughs> well, finally happens on this game. All right. Yes. So, what do we think here? Knight e5. Bishop takes e5. Bishop takes e5. I mean, how do we start? Bishop takes e5? 
Uh, wait, there is knight d5 at some point. Uh, let's say... Um, no, you cannot do it now because knight has to check and take on e1 first. Yeah. No, no, no. I mean uh, either bishop e5, bishop e5 or knight e5. Bishop like e5 and knight d5. Yeah, knight d5. Oh, it already happened. Fidit took on e5 with the bishop. Yeah, so, and now knight d5. Knight d5. That mm. looks good, yeah? Outside yeah. pass pawn and, and, and just an extra clear extra pawn maybe. That's why. <laughs> yes, clear extra pawn is good. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the path is clear for the pawn to promote. So <laughs> Yeah, and because bishop... queen d5, queen d5 probably, yeah. Oh, sorry. Bishop e5, bishop I mean... e5, knight d5, queen d5. And yeah. here yes. you take, take, and then take this one, yeah? Or yeah, rook e5. Mm -hmm. And then Hikaru take, has take. to defend this end game. Mm, yeah, this is unpleasant. This is unpleasant, yeah. Does he like, have something he better the... than this? Yeah, let's take a look because he, he already took on e5 and we have knight d5. Mm -hmm. Because if you took with the knight, then we'll take this one with the okay, knight. Knight d5, yeah. Yeah, and then okay, rook d3 is coming, anything's coming. So you have to take it with the queen. Can we play something other than queen d5 here? By maybe we should keep the bishop. Yeah, but hmm. <clears throat> uh, yeah, knight f6. we are seeing the current position of their mm -hmm. game. Knight d5 is already on the board. Ah, uh, knight d5 is on the board. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting. But white uh, surely must be better, yeah? Yeah. If you ask me, yes. Because of the extra pawn. <laughs> Clear extra pawn. pawn. And the pass, extra pass pawn. <laughs> ah. No. Uh, outside pass pawn, yeah. The extra <laughs> outside pass pawn. <laughs> yeah, and the EO bar kind of agrees, yeah. It's just okay. up there. Maybe it's a uh, queen D. No, I thought queen d6, but knight e5 is there. Uh, yeah, knight e5, rook e5. Oh, rook e5, simply, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to have at least uh, queen and rook, but yeah, it's not. What if I, I just have... take and then yeah, now three rook e3, yeah. and knight e7? Yeah. No, 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 what? <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Ah, sorry, queen sorry. d5 the is there. Is hanging. Don't worry, I also missed it. <laughs> <laughs> Right. No, you can just take rook e5, queen e5, knight f4, I think, like and rook a1, and rook a1, uh -huh. and just a5, a6, low. no, this, this will, this black will lose. But maybe this is black's best shot, yeah? Mm -hmm. Because with the knights and without the queens, it's maybe even worse, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay, so, confirm this, so... With this extra pawn on the edge of the board, like on the A file, it's easier to play this position with major pieces instead of with knights. Yeah, like rook and queens are more preferable to stop it instead instead of um, rook and. When you knight. have an when you have an extra outside pass pawn, it really doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, extra I think outside it would pass be, pawn. It would be good for Black to keep the queens on the board, right? Yes, some, 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 tricks, some tricks maybe mm -hmm. to push h5, g4 or something. But yeah, here I think it's... Are we missing something or it's really bad for black? It's just probably bad for I don't black, think you yeah. miss anything, Harry. You can hardly okay. miss anything. <laughs> okay, then it's... Uh, then we can, it's, it's good. It's good. It's good for Fidit right now. It's also looking good for Ali Reza. Uh, oh. He made an exchange sack. Like yeah, what you this predicted. is nice. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah, so this has a clear, I think it's a clear plan on what to do compared to if you push g6 yeah. in this yeah. position. So yeah. actually, I'm wondering if I can beat Hari in this one. Um, you will, but the problem is. Uh... <laughs> Okay, g6 is 1.2, and taking and this, this is... one. Is... Oh, equal, equal, equal. Okay, equal. draw, draw. No, the <laughs> thing is, both are good. That's both the issue. Both are good. Mm -hmm. Both are good. You just have to choose one, and uh, okay. 
Uh, yeah, this is yeah just you put you you bring the rook to f5 and then you can do whatever you like afterwards oh we're missing a few pawns here otherwise it would be like a heart shape or something no nah. <laughs> with with this pawn configuration no, too many too many too many pawns here. too many pawns <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> Alireza is enjoying this and uh, yeah. good news for him it's unlike his first game against Ian where mm -hmm. he suffered for he had one minute only for like the last five moves or something and then for yeah. the last four moves uh, he only had like 20 seconds and this one mm -hmm. um, I think he's, he's in a good shape and also the position isn't complicated he can just easily move around until move 40 mm -hmm. if he wants to mm -hmm. and let's update ourselves on the game between Nijat versus Fabiano we wow. left it until bishop e2 and here harry uh, suggested bishop f5 but fabi played uh rook e8 uh, rook d8 knight f3 knight d3 ah, check we, but we this is that, yeah. yeah we discussed of this exchange on d3 yeah bishop b2 bishop e6 and rook move back okay knight d2 c5 and knight on c6 bishops okay a5 yeah a5 yeah maybe stopping b6 yeah i mean because after b6 we yeah. talked about it before yeah. uh, but then the rook on a1 has to protect it all the Same, time yeah. now bishop c3 and rook here rook c1 h6 rook a b1 bishop here Ooh. okay hmm. exchanging the knights in such a way King f3, rook a2, and now white is thinking. Huh. Is what happens if... Uh, taking on c5. Yeah, because, extra pawn. Yeah, <laughs> just grab the pawn. Because after yes. this, we at least bishop have g3. bishop g3. So yes. f2 is safely protected. And yeah, what happened actually? Because what is the idea? Rook a2, or maybe because, yeah, um, maybe Fabi thought that he just give a pawn away anyway, just to get the initiatives going. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, okay. That's possible. Oh, maybe. Mm -hmm. Rook here, bishop g3 mm -hmm. and bishop d7, going to c6. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. That's a good idea. I'm not going to play rook g1. <laughs> You're not going to play this one, yeah? Can I play something like with g5 or things like that first? f5, g5, and then bishop. Or oh, actually f5, why not? Yeah? No, we're going to checkmate you now, yeah? Yeah, I'd like to checkmate <laughs> with bishop c6 or okay, win an exchange. Yeah, no, I'm not going to play rook g1. So maybe, maybe it's not... It's not takeable then, this pawn, because yeah. of yeah, yeah. this one. Yeah. But was Rook G1 so bad? It looks horrible, <laughs> but... Oh, because yeah. F5, maybe I can just play King F4 and then King E5. Ooh. Very active approach. Okay, uh, yeah, I can approach with my King too. Rook C7. Oh, no, 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 king e6. No, yeah, no, no. king e6. Okay, king e5. Also king f6 is fine. Uh -huh. Yeah, king e5. Let's go. Oh, rook d5 is coming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Actually, maybe it was, it could have come even one move earlier, but yeah, it's no, no rush. No, white seems okay. Pawn up. Hang on, yes. hang on, hang on, hang on. Success. Let me play Extra G5. Pawn. Winning. I don't, I don't Winning. want to. I don't want to give up. I don't want to give up. Rook B1. You Wait, should. What? Rook B1? Yes. Ah, yes. uh, you bluff me. You you say you want to play Rook D5. <laughs> okay, it's not like we have agreement that I will play this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there is no F4. I want to play okay, F4. There is no... Yeah, Ace, okay, I check. take. King D6. Ooh, King D6. Better on C7. Yeah, Check. It's safer. Here. Rook D5. Rook D5. Oh, Rook D5. <laughs> That's true. Now Rook D5. Yes. Again, once again. 
I can tell whatever I want. <laughs> I will play something. Yeah. So maybe, maybe you have to be just patient with having the bad looking rook on G1 then. No, but rook G1, there will be something for black. I can give a check right away, yeah? But can yeah, four? exactly. And then maybe after this pawn. Take, take this pawn, yeah. Rook C2. Yeah, and then or rook A4 maybe first. Rook A4. First rook A4. Yeah, not give away the file. Yeah. Rook A4 and... And then, yeah, yeah. You can pick which pawn that you want to grab yeah. in the next move. Yep, so... No, this uh, is okay. Sacrificing a pawn temporarily, but um, black will be able to regain it back. So, mm -hmm. yeah, um, the Aoife bell looks like it's just equal, but do you think it's easier or more pleasant to play as black here? I think it's uh, fairly okay for both sides. Yeah, okay. fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. Um, okay, which game shall we look at next? Probably Koneru and Lahno it looks a bit interesting. Yeah. And, uh, and a quick glance and we did we see the position yeah we saw this position after some move like this yeah so oh it it it, it happened so we saw this one and bishop a3 and rook e8 and rook c1 here and then queen d4 not exchanging the rook bishop b4 and rook a6 Knight e5 and bishop here. Knight g5, queen f4, f6. Somehow it <clears> looks <throat> like white is more pleasant, but. Mm -hmm. But are we, yeah? Yeah. But the counter, counter chances, yeah? Yeah, there's some yeah. counter chances here. Ooh, queen f5. Oh, that's rook c8. <laughs> wow, okay, just to show it <laughs> in the chat, yeah? This uh, nice uh, peace sacrifice there. If if rook mm. takes, then rook c rook c eight. Of course, if you take take, and then you win the queen. But if here, then the same. You can just take stakes, and then rook goes to c eight, and you win this one. Uh, okay. So after queen f five, Lahno didn't take on b four. Lahno play rook a one, queen d five check, knight f seven, and we are in the current position. Pump is very low on time. Ooh, yeah. yes, you are right, Felix. Again. Yeah. Yeah, one minute for the next 11 moves. But luckily they're on increment, yeah? Yeah. yeah. But uh, OK, the thing is, I mean, she's probably also thinking like she should win us and so on. So it's. It's some pressure, yeah. Yeah, not not easy. So what do we do now after knight f seven? Do we go h three or something? No, 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 no. H three rook c one. Oh, yeah. okay. Queen b three. Yeah. Yeah. Queen b three yes. first. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, keeping. We have to do that. Keeping the knight pinned, stepping yeah. away from the attack. Yeah. So. Yeah. Good move so far. All right, so okay. we might actually see this, this, and then probably rook c8, and then just mm. liquidate like that. Yeah, something like this should, and then if rook moves queen c6 and so on, yeah, yes. yeah, that's that's correct. Yeah. Okay, looks quite equalish for both sides, and okay. which also looks equal is the game between Litinger versus Salimova. Um, yeah, this should also be finished. Should also end with a draw. But mm -hmm. we saw the position of their bishop e3. Uh, Salimova played bishop f4, takes takes, and b4. And that went back to d7. And after this, just castle, g6, takes, 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 and takes this one. Might definitely, yeah. Yep. And then rook here, takes, and then rook here. Yeah. Both sides have something. King c7, king e2, and now. Yeah, Salimova is thinking. Mm -hmm. G5 or what? G5 also what can be 
What do, what do you think about knight d4? Or oh, no, no. Just king e3. No? Yeah, but then you have rook f3, maybe. Oh, but but g7 is hanging, yeah? No. Yes, yes. Go on. Yeah, g5 looks like very sensible here. King yes. e3. King e3. Rook d4. Rook, rook where? d4. C, 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 oh, c4. c4. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, that's, we that's might, a good move. We might see the draw like this, maybe. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, yes. Like this. No, it's draw. Draw. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So far, it is quite safe for both games in the women's section. Uh, which game do you want to look at? Maybe Gukash. Gukash. Okay. Mm -hmm. And where was the last position we saw? It was knight g4, I guess. Oh, no. It was no, no, a bit it more. It was uh, rook b1. Rook b1. Mm -hmm. Rook a6. Ooh. Hurry, this one anticipating your idea with rook f6. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So... Maybe. <laughs> Queen here. And now this is, I this is the idea, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> At least after that, you're gaining a pawn or something. Yeah. So here... And then knight e3 and rook b2 and yeah we have the current position yeah pleasant to play with white here yes yes no it's clearly yeah very pleasant but okay but it seems like uh, black's holding on yeah? yeah yeah bishop e6 and he will try to bring the rook i mean rook b8 or something like that mm. this will be his plan Yep. And if rook b1? Rook, ah, uh, this one, yeah? Mm -hmm. Rook, rook a1. Oh, no, d6 is hanging. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Is knight five yeah, a move? Is. Yeah, maybe, but... Um, How is the structure if I take on e5? Just in general. Queen G, rook b7 or queen g3? Rook, rook b7 and then knight d5, I thought. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And knight d5 or f5? d5, d5 maybe. Yeah. d5. d5. Yeah, not, looks not, not so easy. Yeah, doesn't look easy for black. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have rook b2. Still some no? work, work to be done. Yeah. And we have a, a game that looks like, looks like Fidid is increasing his advantage. Uh, mm -hmm. We saw the position up to knight takes d5, and here he kind of decided to take the knight with the knight. And knight e5, queen e6, and yes, and now it is the position now. Okay, knight f3 back, or anything else that we can suggest in this position? I think knight f3 looks good. Yeah. yeah. And f3, hitting the queen, and the queen has to keep an eye to this. So queen f5. Queen f5. Queen f5 takes takes a5, maybe. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just like this, yeah. Yeah, but he he can try some tricks here Rook with the. Yeah, rook b8, rook a1. So knight f4, maybe. I don't know. I mean, a6 is there. Mm, knight f4. a6, but there's nothing around this area. g4, no, maybe. Uh, knight, knight, d4. Oh, knight d4. Knight d4. Knight d4. Mm. Yeah, this should be. It should be winning. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, we still have Queen e6 on the board. Fidit is still thinking. Uh, 20 more minutes on his clock for the next 10 moves, which is... Mm -hmm. I can sigh a breath of relief, actually, finally on this game of Fidit, because usually mm -hmm. he's always in time trouble around this time. Yes. Um, yeah, knight f3 mm, looks just very sensible. Okay. Oh, you are right, Harry. Uh, the rook what? is on f5 now, according to your plan. <laughs> yes. So... But how do we break through now? 
Oh yeah, that that's that's the next question. So <laughs> we put all the pieces according to what we want, and now after rook f5, that is the next question. How do we break in this position? Do we break? We have to at some point. I mean, but I don't know how. I guess again, c3 is the only ultimate way to open things up. Or maybe also, Alireza was just playing around just to make move 40, yeah? No, but yeah. this is not the... I think at some point this bishop will move to d2 anyway to, to prepare for all this idea. Yeah, maybe yeah. put bishop on d2 and queen on yes. c1, forcing yeah, rook and h8, and then mm, go for c3. Mm, mm. Then c3 will come. Okay. He started with queen f3. Um, no, this is just uh, his... Uh, yeah, now he made time control. Or, yeah, now he time made time control. control. Mm. Okay. Pleasant position for Ali Reza, where... Is Ian having a worse game so far against anyone apart from this one? I mean... Against Prague, he was lost in this night of seven. Oh, that's true. But I mean, this one, he seems to be suffering. He cannot play this for a win. Yeah, that that's the problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, I don't know. Uh, will I want to see if uh, Elreza will manage to break through with this bishop d two queen c one? As I don't know, somehow I believe this could be a fortress. You know, but fortress. I yeah. don't know for black. Tell that but to. But we'll see. <laughs> Tell that to Magnus here, yeah? who doesn't believe in fortresses. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, I just checked, and on, on a very high depth, it's uh, probably a draw. But wow. Mm -hmm. This position. Obviously, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But the yeah. funny thing is, uh, I also checked before if white uh, would have played g6 instead of g8, uh, gf6. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It and gives on depth 54, uh, only 1.18, so... Everyone can interpret what it's supposed to mean. Okay. That is actually much better than this one, no? By computer evaluation, yes, but 1.18 is quite strange on a very high depth. Yes, yeah. yes, clearly. Okay. Okay. Uh, what else? Oh, Ninja took I another I think Salimova's oh. game should be finishing soon. It's already oh, yeah. finished. Ah, I finished. Okay. They somehow find this repetition. Oh, not g5. Okay, let's let's see no, this one just first. Just rook c4. Rook just rook c4. Yeah. King d2. Check and then yeah. Okay. This repetition. So they yeah, really not made much it. to not much. To so so far, then Tan Zongi is back as the sole leader. Yeah. Of the tournament, yeah, because um, out of all the leaders, she she is the only one who made a, f a win mm -hmm. in this round. Okay. Impressive, yeah. So Ninja took another pawn, not on c5, but on b7 in this position. Mm -hmm. After rook a2, he took the b7 pawn and rook d2, bishop g3, and a6. Oh. I don't understand anything. <laughs> okay. I feel better about myself now. <laughs> a6. Hmm. Um, okay. Sure. Uh, I will not ask you what's what's the idea because <laughs> I guess Rook takes a five immediately. He did okay. not like because what, what did he? What did he not Rook like? Yes. Probably, yeah. Oh, okay. okay, that makes sense. Uh huh. So yeah. you just play a six because you want to take this pawn without having to worry about Rook b five. Okay, okay. At least we get that point of view. Yeah, now it's up to Abbaso to to continue yeah, the game. We're taking on an A5 the next move. So, so how are we being active with white here? Rook C7 okay, he, already on the board. answered the question, yeah. Ah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I take, I guess, I take on A5. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then now, is now... E four a move here? Because I can have mm -hmm. this idea with bishop f four, bishop e three. 
e4 looks very reasonable. I guess I go bishop e6 and, and rook e4 now. Yeah, because if you check, I just go up yeah, with the king, maybe. So here, where do um, you go, yeah. Laura? e6, I thought. e6, um, and now yeah. I switch this bishop to here. Yeah, and rook d4. And uh, D4 and then draw yeah. a grid, yeah? Draw a then point. we brought, we made, the, we made it. Okay, we made it bishop successfully. maybe something like this. But no, can no, I give I check know. first after E4? Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, yeah. Rook D3. Yeah, after yeah. Rook D3. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. King, King F4. Here. And now bishop E6. Bishop E6. Mm. Yeah, now you don't have this. H4. And this is a better version. Rooks. E4. F3. Yeah, I guess everything is a draw, as usual. Bishop takes, bishop F2. Mm -hmm. uh, I think some moves are there. Rook takes A5 is on the board. Yeah, yeah Rook C7, Rook takes A5. We are on the right track. So we're analyzing what happened after E4. Mm -hmm. Okay. E4 is very brave, but... I thought instead of E4, also Bishop E5 is an option. Bishop E5. So I think Bishop C3 and after Rook A2, Bishop G3. And again, we have a move repetition. Oh, oh clever. <laughs> uh, you you found it. I think that's an easy repetition to, to get. Yes, yes, I like this Bishop E5. <laughs> I think you've been working with Harry a lot, Felix. <laughs> yeah, these move repetitions, they, they come after very hard work on the... Yeah. <laughs> okay. And, uh, oh, we see some moves in the game between Fidit versus... Oh, by the way, uh, Abbas will play H4, not Bishop B5. Oh. Okay, that's also fine. Yeah. That's also yeah. fine. That's also fine. That's also fine. Okay, let's go to a more interesting decision now. Oh, yes. This is uh, interesting. So after Queen E6, no, not Knight F3, but Rook D3. At f4, f4, attacking the queen, now queen a2. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Fidit is taking some risk here. He wants to, he's probably thinking if he can take rook h6. Yeah, that's the first question. Or knight g4. What happens? Knight g4, rook e1, and uh, rook c1. Oh. Ah. Yeah, so then I cannot... Really... Oh, you have rook d1. It's ah. not over. <laughs> okay, been long day. Yeah, for sure. But what so... happens after rook h6? Yeah, yeah. Oh, let, let me just show it to... It? to yeah. In the board, like here. Here you cannot take because of knight e2, but you have here at least. Um. Oh, what about... This move. Knight f6. <laughs> Trying to be fancy, but Harry has everything prepared. <laughs> yes, so rook h6 is on the board, so if he did decided yeah. to take this pawn. Okay. Yeah, I, I, if you don't see anything, uh, you know, why not to take the pawn? Um, yeah, if it works. Looks a bit like all pieces are loose. But... Yeah. Let me try a few moves. Let, let's say I play rook d8. Yeah. Queen g4 maybe, eh? Yes, let's go. Yeah, queen g4. Oh no, hmm? rook e5. Rook e5. Yeah. Can I go for that? And queen a1. Queen a1 check. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm not, not careful. Nice. Okay. If... Not nice. Not nice, not nice. <laughs> okay, rook d8. Where, where does so... the queen go then? I mean, ah, I can so go rook actually, d6, no? yeah, rook d6. Mm -hmm. this, oh yeah, rook d6 back, yeah. Hopefully, protecting everything. Yeah, there's nothing. Is there anything? No, I don't see anything. Oh, I have to take on queen f4. Yeah. Yeah. Looks but like... then queen f6 is probably. Queen f6. Queen f6, no, yeah, bad GG. News. You have. Yeah, this is GG. Yeah, yeah. No, mm. I think uh, white should be winning this. Wow, if he did wow. wins this yeah. one, 2 0 against Hikaru. Yes. It's a very nice score, like a, <laughs> in the candidates. 
That's yeah in Somebody says rookie five. Rook where? Now? Now, no, rookie five, rookie five. Rook C5? Be rook C5, yeah. Oh. Rook C5. Um, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is critical. Thanks. Maybe just knight f3, no? And take with the knight on a e1? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a mate on h8, yeah? Yeah, yeah it would be nice. <laughs> yes, nice. And if I start with king g7, you have queen d4, right? In, in this position, Uh, yes, after yeah, yes, yes, after rook yes. e one ninety one king g seven, But that's not so bad, actually. Yes, queen yeah, I should try this problem. Yes. Uh, queen d four here. Probably. Why Yeah. not to play just rook, um, and then rook c one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's not a threat. Rook, rook c one is not a threat. There is always queen d four, so maybe you can just move the rook elsewhere. Okay, rook d6. And after this, queen d4, Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, king h. Everywhere the king goes, I can give Yeah, another check. even one Yeah, more check. no, Yeah. no queen e4 mm. check is That's not even so strong. bad. So, yeah, but rook c5 uh, looks like a pretty good move to continue this one. But yeah, net f3. Yeah. It's 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 hard Uh, move. can we can we check uh, Humpy's game? I mean, it's a little bit jumping, but that's the only game remaining there. Yeah, uh, the only game in the women's section that's still currently Ah, on. but this looks like a loss. Ah, oh, is it? So How we saw does the position this? out to queen b three. If I, if I can find this, Yes, yes. and oh, okay, it's fine. It's fine. Takes takes. Here, here, here. Rook D one, yeah. Mm -hmm. Rook D two. Rook D one was possible actually. E no Rook D one Rook C two. Ah, and then Queen B two. That's what probably she missed. Wait, what? King E one. King E one and Uh, Queen B two. yeah Queen B two. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, there's no mate. Maybe Yeah, I was thinking of maybe move a that's check what like this. happened, yeah. But there's no G mate. six. No, Yeah, no there's mate. no mate. G six. Yeah, there's G6. Something like this happened in the game, I think. Rook Similar. D two. Rook D two Yeah. here, here. Ah, okay. We Yeah, both found this. okay. So cannot go to G three because of uh many things, I think. Well Queen D one, no? mainly, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you have to play King E one. Queen B2, and then we got this position. Bishop D2, knight here, and takes the pawn. Yeah, so she missed, I think. Wait. Okay, so I think she missed when she got into time trouble. Yeah, like this position. Yeah, look. Uh, she only had like a few seconds before the next move. Yeah. So, Mm -hmm. Did but she maybe finish it's still a draw the in time the end, control? right? Sorry? Ah, yeah, time control is all. Yeah, it's, Is it's it only still the time control. like rook d8? I thought maybe it's still Yeah. a draw. Rook d8 and then bishop e5. Yeah. And now, And rook d5. d5. Yeah. B4. Rook B5. Rook Okay, e5, it's yeah. yeah, Rook B5, but yeah, I mean, still. Rook h2 and I have to Yeah. suffer, but... Yeah, you have to suffer a little bit. G5. Not pleasant. Mm -hmm. Like yeah a blunder, not pleasant it seems. Somebody told. well yeah queen b2 was played by naka but Oh, it instead was already of rook c5. bad Mm -hmm. Ooh, the evil bird likes it so much for for <laughs> let's feed figure it. it out why Is there any force win here? queen uh, Huh? d d7 I mean, 
Queen G4 oh. is nice. You cannot take E5, C8 is hanging. Ah, yeah, Queen G4. Yeah, yeah. Queen G4 is nice. Yes, Queen G4 wins. Yeah. No, absolutely. Queen G4. F6, let's say F6. Oh, Queen, mm -hmm. H, Queen D7. <laughs> this is like you are having fun, yeah? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but is it winning though? Yeah, it is, it is. Come on. Queen H7 and Rook F6, yeah? Okay. Yeah, maybe Queen D seven is also winning. Queen D seven, I think most. Maybe Queen B three also winning. Yeah, Queen ah, it's D winning. seven. Queen B three. Maybe there is this one. Hmm. Check and then check Eight. here. King H two. And ah, the same, yeah. Like check. no, no, no. Oh, Queen D eight. Like Queen yeah. H eight here is made, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, okay, looks... I mean, just two pawns up and uh, attack continues, so this is gone. Yeah, this is a reasonable position for, for Naka after Queen B2, but we have a draw in the game oh, between Firuza versus Nepomneci. Ah, okay. So, what? Yeah. He didn't even try? So okay. Yeah, that's a bit strange. Queen F2, King B7, Queen G2 here, Queen G4, and yeah, pretty much doing nothing. Yeah, there. okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> what can I say? Well, I was hoping for at least white try something, you know, maybe try to scare his opponent first, bishop e1, bishop d2, to see what's going mm -hmm. on. But mm. yeah, they... Okay, so now once again, Ian was having a bad position or a worse position, but managed to pull a draw again. And how does it leave us in the leadership board after this game? Gukash is... Also pushing. If Gukash wins yeah. this one, then he's going to be in the clear first, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. That's that's appealing to him right now, I feel like. So we did see the position after Rook B2 and mm -hmm. Rook D8 happened. King H2, prophylactic move. Rook A3 and then Queen E2. Bishop E6 and Knight D5. Now we are seeing the... Current position position on the board and we did play your move, Harry, Queen D7. Yeah, Queen D7. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Queen B3 and uh, Queen F5, yeah. Queen. Uh, back to, to we did again. Can we just check Queen B3? Yeah? Oh, okay. Let's because do that. Because that seems like the only way to stop. Queen B3 and Queen, Queen F5. F5. Yeah. G5 is hanging. Yeah, this is resigned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah. Soon enough. I think soon enough. This is the result. End. Yeah, it looks like it. Wow. I just want to quickly check the standings. Uh, it's not updated yet, but we can take a look at that. Uh, suppose, okay, if we did, looks like it's just winning. It goes to yeah. four and a half. Uh, the same point with Hikaru. Yeah, it would be depending be... on how Gukash and Ian. Oh, I mean, Ian is already on a five and a half. Yeah, depending on the Gukash game now against Pragnananda. Alireza has another half point. So, okay. It wouldn't be changing so much in the lower field, but it's going to be like... Actually, from... Gukesh Prague game is very important, yeah? Yeah, it is. It is important. It It is deciding who is leading the tournament. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, knight so, d5, rook yeah. a1. Yeah, so, are we... so what are we thinking here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, I thought I unplugged my yeah, my headphones. I was like, wait, why is why is no GM explaining this position to me right now? <laughs> um, are we exchanging the rook or no? Or we just go... I thought maybe take and then like something like rook b6. Ah, b6, but... b7, okay. Or immediately, but I thought maybe to take first. I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe take on rook b6, yeah. but okay, you one. have knight e5. 
Okay. Yeah, I'm from that regard, it might be smarter. Oh. Yeah, this works. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so maybe rook b6 immediately. But I feel like in much the same, yeah. Then he takes and then knight here. Oh, sorry. D5. Bishop d5. D bishop d5. Yeah, you cannot do that. Sorry. So. But I guess we have to exchange the rook, like playing rook f2 or something is just. Yeah, useless. that's. Uh, no? Yeah. Too much. Yeah, take six and where do you, where do you go if I go rook a two after queen a one? B one, and then rook a six. Ninety five. But now I can at least take and give you this uh, structure. Yeah. Okay, but he has to go for this kind of things. No, he cannot. He can't. He needs some rook b eight or something like that. Mm hmm. But uh, he played rook f b one. It's um, ah, it okay. Similar, similar. Takes takes, and this is the current yeah. position. Okay. Will we see knight e five? Can he go rook b eight here or not? Oh, even like that. I have one general question to to everyone. If bishop takes d five comes, which is for sure a horrible move, but how would you take back? Mm. E. E. Yeah. E. Prob probably E, yeah. Probably E, yeah. yeah. Because then, I wasn't sure. And trying to make this work at some point, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Probably E. Okay. Oof. Schmack Schmack is back. <laughs> back to her starting position. So, Rook B1, we see this on the board. And while well, Gukesh is still thinking, there are a few more moves in the game between. Um, Abbaso versus Caruana. So we see the position of their h4, then black played h5, king marches forward, bishop e6, king e5, king h7, king e4, trying to make a triangulation there, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Back to serious mood. Okay, rook c3, and then we see the game on the board. <laughs> okay. Okay. What do we Chad do? Chad didn't get the joke. <laughs> Just like, what? <laughs> yeah. So, can we. So black wants what? Rook b4 or what's the point? Yeah, what's the point here? Uh, <laughs> the rook is see. stuck guarding this pawn. Uh, if rook b4... Bishop d6. Oh, ah, king d3. King d3. Yeah, king d3. Here there's also. check here. I wonder. There's things like that. and uh, I don't else? think anyone is uh, improving. Just wait, yeah, maybe. Just waiting, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe Fabi is just hoping for some tricks, that's all. Yeah. Standing wise, he has to try for something, right? Yeah, but. Uh, but it's hard from this position. Huh? Yes, that's the problem. Okay, so it looks like they're just prolonging the drawing game in this one. Uh, yeah. Humpy, um, as you said, is in trouble and suffering. But I think we analyzed this position, yeah? Yes, yes. Rook h2, rook b4, and g5. That's where yeah, we stopped. Yeah, so we saw that, uh, okay, this position was where we stopped. Here, takes, takes. Here, and then b4. Here, and then um, b3, wasn't it? Um, no, I think... Rook uh, h2, right? Rook, rook h2. h2. Rook h2. Just rook h2. We don't need to go, yeah. Takes, and then g5. Yeah, this is what we analyzed. But okay. maybe it's... A bit better to bring the king first because now I can cut the king with rook b6 yeah. possibly. Oh, that's a yeah, that's a good point. So maybe e4, king f6. E4. No, no, e4, e4. Guys, what? e4. e4 here. Wait, what? Here. Uh, no, I mean uh, g5, g5. <laughs> ah, ah, there is there's e4. e4. Okay, that's oh, that's, that's very nice. Huh? I see. 
Yeah, then it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, nice. Yeah, having two connect two connected passpoints very much so near, and then okay. So you cannot you cannot leave the fourth rank then, and you cannot you also cannot push your pawn, can you? You know. But maybe still it's a draw actually. You yeah, just have to that, wait, like King F one maybe. But I bring the king to f5, it it looks very, uh, very close. Yeah, but I no, think when the I king is on f5, think... then rook b5. g4? g4, yeah. Uh, f4, can I king make... King e4, king f3. Ah, yeah. yes, that's true. No, Irene, mm -hmm. I think rook b6 is not bad uh, before. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Takes, rook takes h2. here, rook b6, e4. Now check. Check. Rook B7. Oh, check. check. <laughs> I thought you knew how much you got. Okay. Ah, so you want to bring the king out then. Okay, let's go here. And you keep checking, yeah? Uh, check. Yes. King D5. King C4. Yeah. Oh. Rook G5. Let's go. Mm. And EF, uh, yeah, you're... EF? Okay, it and should be a draw for many reasons, so... <laughs> Rook <Okay. laughs> Yeah. Okay, so this is still the current position. Yeah, so no, it will take some time. It will take some time. Yeah, they already passed yeah, the time control as well. It will take some time. Uh, did we did win? Fidit is still playing, but it looks like okay. Um so Queen B3 oh, yeah. okay, just just resign. He's now. gonna go into Queen was uh, he will just take everything and knight have done. Okay, four pawns yeah, he has, yeah. But, F takes g6, queen g6. But you cannot play knight f7, I can just take it. No, yeah. no, I will play knight f7, but first I will take the g5 pawn. Ah. I will like take the this, g5 yeah? pawn and then this I will one? come back. Yeah, and then I will do maybe even rook e3. Yeah, I so. think rook g3 because, um, okay, this also yeah. wins, of course, but I think if you can. No, make maybe a... rook e3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. I mean, even yeah. though you come to this position, this is still winning. But yeah, if you can win winning. quicker, why not? Right? Yeah, rook yeah. three. So okay, like this, 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 and yeah, and rook three. Okay, no, if... with queen on h six, rook three. Okay. Rook three. Yeah. Mate. I have to I take. Mean, yeah. I... Oh, but you take with the queen. Yeah. Yeah. Could they have also went rook e4 or when the queen yes, was yes. g6? Just like giving everything, the rook, you know? Everything, everything, everything wins. Is winning. Everything yeah. wins. Yeah, yeah like this check you, here you and then rook e4. You can just pick what yeah, you yeah, like. Yeah. Now we will see resignation pretty soon. Yes, I think so too. I don't think... We... Oh, yeah, we did. We yeah. did and okay. we did one. Uh, another game <laughs> against Hikaru. Wow, 2-0, 2-0 wow. wow. for Fidit versus Hikaru. Very nice, very nice. Yeah. And how many games has Fidit won this tournament? I feel like he's winning all the time. <laughs> Let's see. Three, maybe, yeah? Three. When... So he That's won really against uh, Ian twice. Three. Uh, sorry, uh, he, he three. won against Hikaru twice. He won against... Al Ali Reza. Ali Reza. Yeah. Okay. That's three. He almost beat uh, Karwana. Maybe that's why I'm counting. Yeah, almost defeated Karwana. Oh, he, yeah. yeah. Okay, but it was a, always a tough, a tough game. Uh, every single game, and then he managed yeah. to defeat it the one of the best. And okay, let's come back to the game between Rukesh versus Pragnananda because and um, actually he took on d5. Oh, he took on d5. Yeah. So we saw this position f6. But now it's okay because the f6 is also there. Yeah. Takes, yeah. Takes, yeah. So so this preparation move with f6 is a is a good move then, yeah, Harry? Yes, yes, no, clearly f6 is good. Takes takes yeah. and Rug, here uh... rook d7 and now Any any bets that we see a repetition? I think rook d8 rook d8 rook d7 one 100%. 100%. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Okay, like, okay, Harry, well, without any doubt, predicting it would be a repetition, <laughs> rook b8, rook b7. What are we thinking, though? Draw. Yeah, you think just repetition? G yes, yes. 
I mean, also, uh, also the thing is, if otherwise you have to take bishop e5, so it doesn't ah, really help, makes right? Makes sense, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. did we go wrong at some point with white? It just felt so comfortable. Maybe it it just uh, it just felt like it's mm. it's better, but maybe it's not too significant. Much, yeah. yeah, it's not yeah, much. There's... So okay. yeah, so I think this is going to happen very, well. very soon. Ooh, what happened? Oh no, no still, still like here, still like here. <laughs> no, 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 no. He, I think they finished forty moves. So. Mm hmm. And now yeah, think is thinking whether to repeat or not. Okay, and what about this one? Ninja versus <laughs> Fabi. Nothing he's much going on. To trick. No, no, there is a lot going on. So we have we have seen this position, yeah? And then Rook comes back and then here. Okay, if 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 Fabiano wants, he, he could repeat it. Yeah, rook rook B2, B2. Yeah. But yeah. he didn't repeat. He played Rook D8, Rook C6. Rook d7, bishop d6, rook a4, and king f3. Stepping away I... from this check. Oh, they're both very low on time. Okay, they only have two moves to make, but before they were also kind of low on time, yeah? They had two minutes. Mm hmm Okay. So... Some piece will take c4, but I don't know which one, <laughs> the rook or the bishop. Okay, if it's rook, then uh, just take take and rook c5, no? Yeah. It's, so, if it's a bishop, bishop, maybe also rook c5, c5, right? Rook c5. Same because idea. Because everything would have been fine if uh, bishop e6 was possible, but I just take rook h5 too. Mm. King yeah. g6, you have to king play. King g6 or king g8, yeah. King G8 is mate, no? <laughs> oh, shoot, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, King G8 is mate, so yeah. I need to play King G6. Yeah, and Rook G5. And then simply Bishop F4. And pawn up, yeah? Mm. Yes. Okay, F6. So, F6 is on the board, so not taking on C4. Wow. So... So I... what happened after Bishop takes C5 then? Yeah, that's a very fair question. Will then you take bishop this? C4. And yes. then this is the idea. Yeah, yeah, he's just waiting for him to take. But the thing is, like, I, I think e4 and slowly king, like, uh, then he can take, yeah? Like, for example, this e4 position? first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, ninja already moved king g3. King g3, yeah. Okay, also good. Yeah, actually, it's checks. a good move. Yeah, it's a good yeah. move, yes. Not to have any four yeah. d five at all. So bishop mm -hmm. c four already on the board. Yeah, they're they're okay. They're going to get the fortieth move soon, and probably also the result. Yeah. Look, c five is on the board. And and bishop f seven, bishop f four. So you would prefer to keep the bishops on the on the board as black in this position. No, it depends if uh, black is playing for an advantage or. Um, yeah, I mean, so I, I think uh, okay, rook d6 and draw. Yeah, in general, this is probably the best. Yeah, like this, yeah, yeah. and take mm -hmm. this with either, I guess. Yeah, doesn't matter. Yeah, or bishop f7 mm -hmm. if if yeah. he wants to. I think we have, have some, some chances. Move. No, last move. Uh, Fabi has to play one more move. And one more then move to make the time control. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Which yeah. um. Yeah. He should be doing anytime soon, actually. Very yeah, soon. he played bishop of seven. Okay, he okay. played bishop of oh. seven. Oh, wow, he's really going for it. Yeah, but I don't know if it's a good thing or not, because... Yeah, um, yeah bishop f4 and rook c7, and I don't know how this helps. Yeah. No, black, white is super safe here. Mm -hmm. But maybe he's just hoping that... Um, this pawn will somehow, you know, create no, some problem. No, that pawn will not go anywhere. It's a problem. <laughs> okay. And uh, still, Gukesh is still thinking in this position. Everyone already made time control. Mm. And this one as well. It will take some time for uh, Lahno to decide which which type of strategy maybe in this endgame that he, she would choose playing g5 or playing taking h2 or king f6 or b3 yeah there are a few other um or what do you think about e4 immediately um uh, f4 just f4 yeah 
Yeah. Ah, and then this is already under Mm -hmm. attack immediately. Yep. Okay, so it's not a good move then. Okay, so guys, apparently everyone is already in the saver time situation right now. I think it's also time for us to make another break. And yep, we will be back for the last three games that's still going on. So see you again in a few minutes.
Welcome back, guys, to our broadcast. And we still have one game left uh, between Conero and Lachno. So this is going to probably take some time, but could be could become still quite interesting, this Rook endgame. Yeah, and while we were on the break, we had two games already finished. And as we predicted, they will... They would go down on a drawing sequence again, and this one happened. So after rook d7, the last move, rook b8, and um, not quite like what Harry predicted that they would repeat the moves, but this enough to seal the deal, and then they agreed for a draw. Uh, the same went with the game of Nijet versus Fabiano. Mm -hmm. We saw the position after bishop f7, bishop f4, and then rook b4. Rook c7, rook b7 takes takes, and after rook c7, I think it's a draw over, which accepted by Fabiano. And also, oh, and then the, the only game that's still going on is the game between Conero versus uh, Lahno, which, guys, how many minutes does Lahno take on this game? Mm, 20 minutes 20 for the next move? Plus, yeah. It's a lot of time. Okay, she has to decide how, how to continue because she's in safe zone anyway. Mm -hmm. She doesn't really need it. So, uh, but we expect expect Rook H2, I guess. Is there um, is there another move than Rook H2? I guess, otherwise she wouldn't be thinking. Maybe she's thinking about King F6. For... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> that yes, answers our question. <laughs> that answers it. So, is there anything better than Rook takes before? No. And play the no. first. <laughs> <laughs> Harry didn't speak any word and then just one word come out. No. <laughs> yeah, just. Yeah, so Rook B4. And are we going to see King move or G5 here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably that was. Uh, that's what she was thinking. Yeah. So King F6. Yeah. Yeah. King F6 here already on the board. Yeah, and this is the last game that is still on uh, for the day. Yeah, but. 20 minutes because i think she's she's on the verge of also feeling that um this might be drawn but uh of course white has to suffer so yeah she's trying to yes. come up with yes. some move because when was the last time she won actually let's take a look oh a few rounds ago mm, round number six was it against fashali yes mm, it was against fashali yeah i think yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay so we are in the current position right now, and Conor still has 25 minutes on the clock. How do Maybe we... she can just yeah. wait. King F1? King F1. King F1, and then just G5. wait. Then. I Let's say Rook A4. Oh, where do you want to King wait? King F5. King F1, G5, and then let's say Rook A4. King, King F5, Rook B4. G4. And now again, I take and I thought I can wait. Okay, four. G3. Yeah, and now. So what do you want to do? You want to play e4 next move? Is that the idea? Ah, uh, no, no. Rook f2 check, and uh, if the king goes, then rook e2. Ah, uh, mm. rook e2. Okay, okay. So yeah, for example, rook b4. Yeah, rook rook f2. And yeah, if I go to e1, check here e1. Yeah, then I can play this. Uh, I mean e4 and uh, rook f3. Mm. Yeah. And that's how I lose, right? Okay, but uh, I think the position is maybe not drawn. So you think even even still there in the no no I mean uh, when G four G three came not uh, I mean I I think uh, why shouldn't yeah. just sit down sit but probably like some rook B eight and some checks. Uh in this position after G five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And if uh, this happens, uh, you want to give a check in this position, yeah? Or 
Oh, I, I, I meant rook b8 before, like uh, instead of king uh, e1, king f1, rook oh, b8. But it was already played though, king f1, so... Ah, king f1 is played, okay. Yeah, yeah. king f1 is played. Okay, okay, fine, g5, yeah. G5. So we have to deal with the consequences now. Yes, yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so rook b8, e4, yes, yeah. It's... We had something similar before, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rook b6, king e7. No, then rook b5. No, 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 rook b5. Uh, I meant uh, instead of rook b7 check, uh, rook oh. b5. Because uh, now he cannot defend this rook g2. In the mm -hmm. previous position, he had rook g2. Mm -hmm. I could also when, go rook g6, right? Ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, rook g6, g6, yeah. So there's yeah. no king f6. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, looks fine. Okay. So if I play here, I think you can just keep checking, yeah? Like this. Yeah, checks or rook check b5. Here. Yeah, and then rook b5. Taking this. Uh -huh. Okay, it looks dwarfish, but king f1. Yeah, king f1, then what else apart from g5? Maybe pushing the h pawn. Let's try it. h4, and then... I don't know if right away or first g5, but... I can do this, yeah? Because, yeah. Yeah, first right g5, maybe. This. First maybe g5, yeah. g5, I think, is... Yeah, g5. And then... Rook B six or Rook B eight. Rook B eight. And now H four. Then I keep checking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one Rook F five. Rook F five. One. Rook G eight. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. you can play Rook G eight. Yeah. Okay. And Rook H three is simply Rook G five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can even play this one. I think. I thought if I managed to put the rook to g3, I'm, uh, I'm happy, but... Right. Yeah, just take, I guess. Takes, and this one, yeah? Yes. This yeah. one, and rook here? Or king d3? Uh, maybe, maybe e4 first. E4 Otherwise, first. king d5, king e4 will come. Mm -hmm. I could try rook f5 though, right? Instead of rook h3. Rook f5. Try to put the rook behind the... Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, still not over. G5 is on the board, though. Just. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we, we're on track right now. Oh, you, you... Laura, you came up with something interesting that you found during the break. What was that? Yes. Okay. We have a big question for Harry here. Yeah. <laughs> All these questions to me. Yes. <laughs> okay. But this is a fashion question, though. No. Fashion what I read question. is okay. um, that Ali Reza, um, yeah, tweeted or it's a fashion you know, question now. No. Wrote, <laughs> <laughs> wrote on X that arbiters during the game told him not to walk around because his shoes made too much noise. Yes. Which is a bit controversial, right? Like not yes. to tell a player to walk around during the yes. game. Yes. So what what do you think? Would you go barefoot? <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, um, well, uh, it, it sh I mean, I haven't read the regulations, but uh, mm -hmm. if it's not in the regulations, it's not uh, Ali Reza's, uh, problem if yeah. the shoes shoes are making noise yeah because uh, sometimes maybe the floor is not ready for gucci or <laughs> 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 but but he always always has problem with noises yeah because if I, was it the last candidate that uh or was it like oh uh, why can they remember in the last game yes he yes. Mm -hmm. was asked to play in different 
yeah, yeah, yeah. area yeah. because um, yeah. they were preparing for the closing ceremony because his mm -hmm. his result will not affect the overall yeah. uh, leader standing anyway. Yeah. But he was under the impression that he had the possibility of uh, um, qualifying for the playoffs or something like that mm. was the issue. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is quite quite uh, hard to. Uh, I mean, it's it should be simply the in the contract yeah like just don't wear something some shoes but already there are so many of these uh, regulations like you should not wear this that and so on um it's, but do you uh, really tell that to a player during the game or should the no you shouldn't i you think shouldn't, you should right? yeah it shouldn't i mean what could you what can he do even if uh, i mean he he doesn't have shoes yeah exactly <laughs> so, what 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 is he supposed to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There there were some problems with that during World um, Woman Rapid uh, and Blitz Championship. Oh, with Anna Maya. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, for example, with Anna Maya and many others, where apparently like you cannot wear sports shoes. Uh huh. And she was not wearing sports shoes. She was just wearing some sneakers that mm -hmm. were you know on on the edge. Mm -hmm. But, you know, she didn't have shoes, any other shoes with her. The arbiter said, okay, you will be disqualified if you don't change the shoes. And mm -hmm. she had to get a taxi, 15-minute drive, and oh. almost miss, miss the next game, yeah? yeah and yeah, yeah. go back, go there, and she had to change into heels. But then it annoying. makes noise, yeah? <laughs> then it makes noise, yeah, <laughs> but apparently heels that's fine noise. for us. <laughs> but but okay, what carpeted is this? Floor. Yeah. Exactly. If there is no carpet, of course, it will make some noise. <laughs> so, yeah, just put the carpet. No, yeah. So with always these shoe problems. With with yeah, maybe yeah. like uh, like just like how uh, dress uh, what is it called dress regulation? No, no. Dress code. Uh, yeah, yeah, like dress code. Maybe there should be a floor code. Floor code. <laughs> Chest so that it floor. doesn't make a uh, noise kind of a thing so um yeah also i mean it's uh it, it's it's not bad to have uh, you know some kind of dress code but it shouldn't be like too strict yeah for sure what about you felix have you ever experienced any fashion <laughs> fashion disaster of, over the board or i don't know like because it's easier with men styling himself, right? It's um, compared to women, I guess. Yes. Yeah, it's easier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I haven't had any controversies like this um, uh, thus and far, what, at least. And Irene, I wonder about you. Uh, I think I've, I have no, I have no incidents about um, my dress code so far. I think um, I've been living as a good girl. <laughs> following all the rules um i always travel okay this is gold stuff yeah i always travel with um at least two pairs of shoes so yeah, yeah. Uh, i always have one thing or another uh so the case with anomaya i think i would have anticipated it although i don't think mm -hmm. it was um her fault because oh it, hmm? uh, sorry sorry please continue i will i have some story afterwards <laughs> okay. i can tell no, that's that's pretty much it. I'm just I'm just yeah. um, putting my two cents there about the shoe incidents with Anamaya. Yeah, it was, I it was a Burberry shoes, which um, yes, you're not yeah, wearing yeah, them for true. sports, right? I mean, it looks like it's yeah. sneakers, but you're not wearing them for mm -hmm. sports. It's just for style. And I was very mad because from her point of view, I I watched her video and like. Of course, these are not sports shoes. These are clearly not sports shoes. And these people, these arbiters, are clearly not in fashion industry to determine that these are sports shoes. And I was mad. I was raging. <laughs> so, yeah, this, I just, that was so unfair, in my opinion. Yeah. So, with your uh, story, Harry? Once, once I played in one of the leagues, and uh, there, the flooring uh, floor should be clean or something like this you know so uh, the team which organized they didn't tell us before like you know that's uh, and the special requirement for this uh, particular round is that you should wear this uh, plastic uh, you know these blue ones where yes. you 
at the airport where yeah. you wear for airport or you know or, or at the hospital or or, yeah animals, exactly yeah, like a... yeah so and they said <laughs> after we go there we see these plastic blue things you know and i was like what for we have these blue things <laughs> and they said ah actually you are supposed to wear this and play because your shoes they might be dirty so we don't <laughs> want the floor to be dirty you know Oh, and wow. uh, it was terrible because we were wearing the um, these plastic ones for whole game everybody but luckily the host team which was the this they knew it before so they had the extra flip flops or sandals <laughs> or whatever you call it <laughs> flip flop yeah i mean that's like so unprofessional mm -hmm. uh, but uh, uh, the good thing is anyway everyone's um, you know the plastic was torn just you know around the feet ar around the shoe but <laughs> it was like anyway the feet uh, it didn't help much so yeah that's uh, very strange strange things happens here yeah? <laughs> but yeah. do you yeah do you agree that there should be a dress code or or is it too strict in your opinion I it like for example if you make the dress code uh, mm -hmm. the ones who are enforcing like let's say arbiters they should be clearly like yeah. uh, like presentable I mean, yeah pres yeah I mean also they, sh they they yeah educated like they should know which one is and they should be able to uh, clearly say okay not this one and uh, some other one and stuff like that uh but also i think uh, okay we have many uh, issues like uh, you know when you if you want a dress code then the regulations also should be uh, given much in advance like you know mm -hmm. like world yes. rapid and blitz is announced one month before or yeah. even less so like okay yeah. if yeah. if you do this then people will not take it seriously yeah i agree i agree yeah, I actually have a story myself. I was almost kicked out of World Cup. So uh, and because it was my first time playing, I didn't know there was a dress code. And I arrived to the opening ceremony thinking, uh -huh. I don't know, it's fine. And then they started counting all the things I cannot wear. So I didn't have anything else but jeans with me. And uh, but I'm, for, for yeah. men, jeans are not a lot. Yeah, for women either, yeah. So ah, I, okay. I I came to the first round in some unofficial pants and the arbiter was like, okay, never again, don't do that or you will be disqualified. So oh. I had to go shopping uh, <laughs> <laughs> to get some official pants. Yeah, but that's yeah. just because I didn't know it was so strict and now I know, mm -hmm. of course, it makes it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think uh, in one of the cycle it was like you can only wear black uh, or dark blacks. color. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Black and, navy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Navy. I'm not sure actually. I don't recall. But it was like safest color is to have all <laughs> black. I mean. <laughs> I think wow. it was yeah. the World Rapid and Blitz in uh, Saudi Arabia 2017. Oh. I no, no. It started with uh, GP. Uh, FIDE Grand Prix, actually. That's where it what, started. What year? 2017. Yeah, uh, yeah. I so we are around the same. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And, uh, okay, Levon was also there. I, I don't recall, actually, what he was doing. But, uh, oh. yeah, it was like all, all dark colors. There's nothing you could do. Yeah. Well, that, that must be a torture for a player like Levon and, yeah. and Ali Reza because they like <laughs> to wear colorful things yes. <laughs> yeah okay also also you have to uh, not restrict with the colors because you know it's uh, it's quite uh, diversified players yeah so you need to give the choice of uh, choosing the colors yes mm -hmm. so yeah I mean you cannot just say black or some uh, blue and that's it yeah that's very restricted. But uh, they are, both are thinking like uh, <laughs> quite a lot, actually. Yeah. Yeah. What are they thinking about? Okay. Humpy, I guess, has to figure out the perfect way to draw. Otherwise, she'll yeah. be clearly disappointed. Actually, if King F5, G4 comes, I, I 
don't think i mean we can check with the engine if you want but i think it's already not so nice with king f5 g4 yeah we can check so for example rook a4 king a5 rook b4 g4 and we check the engine yeah yeah Oh, it's yes, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that's that's the thing. You cannot allow this. Yeah. So in this position, I think you have to play rook a5 or rook, rook a8 then. I guess rook a8. Yeah, rook, rook a8. Then. Yeah, rook a8. Just yeah. anything with yeah. um the rook Checks. going to the back line. Yeah, yeah that's, that's it. And whenever G4 happens, you have that's to true. that's what uh, you know in all the books and in all oh, they were, they teach you, yeah. Yeah. Just go behind and check. Yeah. Easy. I think. Wait. I think. No. Then King E5. Yeah. Yeah. E4. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Can I try King G5 instead of King E6? Yeah, what now? Mm. Hmm. <laughs> Do I take and go e4 anyway? Because then I have rook f5. Is that dangerous though? Yeah, probably f takes g4, h takes g4. Ooh. Then it's a loss, yeah. It's a loss. I think maybe a king g4, huh? king g4. King g4. So that's why I have to give oh. rook g8 check first. Oh. King h4. Yeah, and then uh, f takes g4, h takes g4, and rook mm. e8. Rook. E8. E8. Okay. Yeah. And then if I get rook e5, rook f5, then it's just easy draw. So let's say I play, oh, that's a draw, yeah? like king g3 here. So you take on e5. And Maybe rook f2 check or rook, rook h1, yeah. yeah. Yeah, king. No, this is easy, king g1, king g1. King g1. Ah, you even get the rook back, yeah, rook, rook f5. f5. Oh, oh no, no, rook no, f5, no, rook no, f5, no, no, rook f1, no, 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 king f1. King f1. So I don't have, have rook e1, this. king f1. Check here, yeah, here, and then... Rook g5. And e no, no oh, yeah, e4, e4. Oh, there's rook a check a two, first. Rook a2, yeah. rook a2, yeah. yeah. So e4 I have to play. Yeah, still has to be careful till the end, actually. Yeah, 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 no, it's not so easy. It's not that easy. Okay, g3. Rook g5. Now you can play rook g5 because after check, there's king e3. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so eventually this king will guard the pawn to promote and then this rook just at some mm -hmm. point just take on the the g pawn, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I have a feeling it's kind of stuck because, I mean, it uh, it's like too many, too much time, right? Yeah. Let me check. G5 and she's been thinking for 20 minutes now. Yeah, uh, and and Lano also spent twenty minutes for that one. Um, yeah, I don't see anything still. It's still like G five. Why? What is she worried about? Oh, okay, now we just discussed what she's worried about. Yeah, but she doesn't have a choice. She has to go B eight at some point. Now uh, for Lano, this is very important, right? Mm. Why? Uh, for the standing? because she will uh, she will uh, she will come to she will uh, share second place with Goryachkina, mm -hmm. right? Mm. I think there was a move. Rook B eight, yeah. Yeah. Okay, then it's fine. Oh yeah. Okay, okay we're gonna see. Important. We're gonna see G four anyway. Oh, Jesse is there. Jesse is ready. Who? Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, thanks oh. for the raid, Jesse. February. <laughs> yes. Hello there. Yeah, we're entering the last stage of the of the game of round nine. 
Um, yes. that's still only one game going on right now between Connor Humphrey versus Sahno Katrina. Looks like it's a, a drawing end game, but uh, White still has to be careful till the very end to prove that this is drawn. But yeah. it's a good sign. Rook B8, because we've been talking about it, that the Rook has to come from the back rank in order to maintain a good defense. So Connor will play it right away with Rook B8, not wasting any tempo with Rook A4 and so on. Yeah, but still, Lachno will try her, her last moves. And yeah, something like G4 maybe, yeah? Yeah, I mean. yeah, G4 might be played. And then we said what, Rook F8? King G4. Yeah, just some checks. Rook F8 and the king has to go to H4, yeah? Like this, yeah. this is what we then, yeah. talk about. Takes, takes like this and Rook and, E8. And Rook E8, yes. Yes. Yeah, rook e8 and king g3. Rook, j just take, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rook e5. Mm -hmm. I mean, rook h1, king e2, and rook e1. This we saw. Yes. Uh, king g2, yes, yes. King g2 and rook. No, you did go. No, you did go rook. Uh, rook f2, I think. Rook yeah, that check. was my suggestion. Yeah. Rook f2. What about rook h1 and king g2 now? So where does the rook go? But it's same. Yeah, rook, rook g5 and e4. Uh huh. Right. Basically, I give the yeah king e3. Uh, let's play this. Just king f4. Uh, no, if you play this, no, 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 no. Then I go e5. Oh, oh yeah, yes, e5. Here it doesn't work. I okay, just keep going with the pawn. Yes, yeah. so should be drawn. Yeah. Uh, still thinking, right? Yeah, but only five minutes. Sorry, um, this last is so half, this is... so... Five minutes, yeah. Mm -hmm. So not a long time to think, and also Humpy doesn't have a lot of time. And yeah. Yeah, we're going to see these moves on the board pretty fast, I think. Yeah, so we're going to wait because they're not... Um, yeah, they're, they still have some time to think about it and they also have increment. So while we're waiting, let's recap what we had today as, and especially in the open section. So we had a win again uh, by Fidit versus Hikaru. So therefore, it's taking Fidit um to the upper field in the leaderboard and we have uh three draws with different style gukash versus pragnananda gukash was um having a slightly better position but um pragnananda, pragnananda managed to equalize it and in the end they pragnananda. The pragnananda sure <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Ali Reza versus Ian Nepomneci also ended with a draw. Uh, Ali Reza was in the upper hand situation, but um, decided not to take a risk and then just um, agreed for a calm draw. Uh, the game between Nijat versus Fabiano was also, I think they were, they were, we didn't really miss much on that game as well because I think it was pretty equal from the start to finish. And in the women's section, we after this round we had uh, a sole leader again that's Tan Zongyi won against Faishali. Unfortunately for Faishali, this is her fourth loss in a row. So hopefully she can bounce back from this. And a peaceful draw between Anna versus Alexander Gorchkina. Um, it was a very well preparation by Anna, and yeah, not wasting so much time on the clock. And we also had. Quite a peaceful game, uh, which ended with a draw between Litting J versus Nuriku Salimova. And the one that we are going to see on the last one standing is the game between Cornero versus Lahno. And we have some moves on the board. In this position, G4 was already played. And Cornero took this, and after this, Rook F8. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a fine approach as well. Mm -hmm. So she probably wants King G5 E4, right? That's yeah, King G5 E4, like it, yes. Yeah. yeah, so King G5, I think, should be played. Uh, yeah, you have to keep checking, right? Or 
No, check king no. f5. Oh, okay, yeah. king f5. So what do we do here? E4? E4. E4. E4 is done. And then stay on this line until the king move to h4, yeah? Otherwise king f4. Yeah, rook no, e5. Rook e5, f5, f5 check. is rook already f5. threat, I see. So if this one, then you just... Rook you rook can play rook f5 maybe, maybe yeah? Maybe. Yeah, rook f5, I think. That's also fine, not... Yeah. King here, then just takes like this. If mm -hmm. this happens... Ah, okay, just, okay, just like anything, this and then... Yeah. Yeah. Put it like that, yeah? Okay. Uh, Rook F8 is still on the board. Now just waiting for Katrina to move the king. So, while we're waiting for Katrina, let's see what we have for tomorrow. And tomorrow, we will have Hikaru versus Nijat, Fabiano versus Ali Reza, Ian versus Gukash. And Pragnananda versus Fidit. Oh, it's going to be interesting. Ian versus Gukash. These two players are leading the leading the tournament and they're going to be paired against each other tomorrow. What are your thoughts about this, Hari? Uh, yeah, Prag versus Fidit uh, is a is big matchup. But uh, I think uh, Nepo versus Gukash is, uh, is the match uh, tomorrow. Of course. And uh, yeah. And Jan will surely try to, I mean, use his, uh, uh, he's playing white, right? Yeah, yeah, Jan is playing white. I think, he, yeah, yeah. So he will certainly come with some fine preparation. So it will be uh, very interesting to see the opening. Uh, I mean, that's, that's most important. And uh, yeah, today he, I wouldn't say it's a lucky save or something, but it was, uh, um, it was a save for him. I mean, big save from uh, Ali Reza. Mm -hmm. uh, be it the shoes or whatever, maybe the reason, but uh, still, yeah. So tomorrow, it, I mean, I I also remember that uh, uh, the second half, yeah, Jan could be a little bit, uh, uh, you know, a little bit uh, um, not so stable like uh, in the first half. So. It, this will most likely, you know, change uh, many things uh, in leaderboard. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, in the women, tomorrow we'll have Katra Lahno versus Anna Muzichuk, Alexander Gorchkina versus Litinji, Nurgyu Salimova versus Faishali, and Tan Sungi versus Connor. This is going to also to be a very interesting matchups. We have one battle of two experienced players there, Katrina versus Anna. Also, yeah. Vashali must be very eager to make a comeback. And I think it is now a good time for her to make a comeback because he'll, she'll be playing against the lowest rated player in the field. Um, and will Tanzoi be able to maintain the leadership? Um, because she's going to play against the solid Conero tomorrow. And also in the midfield, it's catching up between Alexandra versus Leting GS. So we'll see what's going to happen tomorrow. But it's also going to be very interesting because after tomorrow's game, the players will enter another rest day. So sometimes their opening approach will also be affecting that. They don't want to enter the rest day with a loss. And they might actually play a little bit more solid. But yeah, let's save it for tomorrow. And in the game that we are looking right now, there are some move. Actually, one move after rook f8. <laughs> yeah. King e6. King e6. Yeah, tricky move. That's that's good. After e4, I think it will end soon. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, as long as you don't go rook g8, yeah, because um, it's a little bit. Sorry, here king e6. Yeah, because then the king will somehow enter yes. e4. So as long as. Connor will play e4 here and then just stop the king from entering d5 or f5. And what did he... Sorry, rook g... No. g8 was played? What? No, 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 no. Oh, no e4, okay. e4. e4. Ah. e4 followed by rook h6. I was like, what? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So this should seal the deal. And then what's going to happen? Ah, the rook will stay on f4 maybe. Yeah. Like yeah, here. Yeah. Oops, not like that. Sorry. Mouse slip. Uh, yeah. Rook f6 here and then rook here and then maybe just here yeah and yes. that's it yeah. you somehow make this repetition <laughs> okay yeah we're getting closer to the end of this game 
So rook g8 uh, is the most forcing, right? Rook g8, rook f6, king e2, rook f4, and king e3. Yeah. That's. Or they can also make the repetition like king this. King f6. Uh, no, what do you play after king f6? Just king d3, probably, yes. I think Maybe so. the only move, actually. Uh, I think the only move. Uh. Maybe rook e8. Maybe rook e8. Maybe rook e8, yeah. Okay. Rook e8 also works, yeah. maybe. Okay, check here. Can I go? Oh no, I cannot go f4. There's rook f5 too. Yeah, this might be also a draw. Uh, yeah, this. this uh, I'll cool. put the rook over here, let's say. King mm -hmm. f2. Yeah, this is a little bit maybe. Yeah, king f2. King f2. King f2. Mm. Yeah, nothing much. Not, not, not much, yeah. Mm hmm yeah, we have some moves. So rook f6 yeah, I already think played. We'll, king we'll have mostly. Maybe rook the game is even over, actually. Yeah, maybe the game already ended by now, as we speak. Yeah, rook f4 also played, and we will see king e3 probably. Yeah. So... Yeah. So just get ready, Harry, because you're going to close the show <laughs> sometime soon. Uh, what? I'm closing the show. <laughs> yeah, you're closing the show for two days round. <laughs> Everyone has to work on this. <laughs> Irene putting us all on the spot. Yes. <laughs> yes. This 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 stream. Oh, okay. rook f4. Yeah, rook f4 already on the board, and I think we're going to see king e3. Yeah. Yeah, so Lahna will come up still in the fourth place, yeah? Clear fourth. Yeah. Yep, King E3 King is on the board. Let's yeah, see how King F6, long. King D3. Yeah. Yeah, as the second half is um, going on, I think it's a very good idea also uh, that the schedule has more free days or more rest days, right? Because after this, oh, King F6 is played, by the way, uh, like what Harry mm -hmm. suggested. Um, yeah, because after this, we have a rest day and then there will be two more games and then another rest day, two more games. And that's pretty much it. If there is a tie break, then um, it will be it will be played on the following day. But will do you think there will be a tie break in these candidates, both open and women? No, it's, it's uh, too far, yeah. It's too far. It's too. It far. would be exciting though. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, commentating on the tie break day is actually more exciting, yeah, because you don't have to think; you just have to, you just have to sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice. It's easy. Just to make <laughs> games exciting, and no more triangulation you know? in the center. You know for whom uh, the rest day is more tiring? Mm. For the viewers, yeah? No. Okay. Seconds. For second, yeah, they have to work <laughs> non-stop, right? Yes. And yeah. uh, for, for, for commentators, it's excellent. It's excellent. Yeah, for commentators, <laughs> it's excellent. Well, but we'll see. We'll see. But I, I'm, I'm happy, you know, it's, it's getting a little bit easier to bear yeah. one day after another but yeah mm -hmm. i agree seconds the seconds of these players they have to work really hard not only to come up what to do on the on the game of the following day right but also for the rest mm -hmm. of the matchups as well yeah so mm -hmm. and also it's yeah. it depending on the level uh energy level of each player right and you you were you are second of a women's world champion, yes. Juan Jun, yeah? The, the longer the players play, that's better for the seconds. <laughs> really? Because you can rest. Yeah. Yes, you can rest. <laughs> <laughs> but also, do you... Yeah, it, it has to be some approach like that, yeah? When you see if your player is, is tired, maybe you shouldn't recommend yeah. something that's too complicated, yeah? Because otherwise, yes. it's going to be too overwhelming. Yeah, yeah. So king f7, okay. rook g5, okay, let's, come on, repetition. King f6, rook g8. Uh, 
Yeah, I come mean, on. what else, right? Yeah, I think by now Lahno already realized that uh, nothing much going on. Oh, King E6. Yes. King E6. Okay. King E3. Oh, I can play anything. No, I can. Rook G6 also, right? Rook G6 or Rook yeah. G7. King E3, Rook G6. Yeah. Rook G7, Rook G8. I think mm -hmm. all those moves should be fine. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for pretty sure. much everything is fine. But okay, just playing e three, I guess it's uh <laughs> looks a bit safer. Just put the king back yes. to this position. By the way, there is an interesting question from mm -hmm. the chat I saw. Um, how does it work with the tie breaks? Um, yeah, like what counts? Does does the direct encounter count or there the are, number of wins? There are a few. I pulled it up, but I still, you know, there are a few. You have to look for the Schoenberg. The SB, ha, ha, I don't know how to pronounce that. Sean Burn Burger. Sonny yeah. Burn Burger. Yeah, no? and then uh, there, there are other things. Like, so uh, to me, I think it's going to be very hard to, to get like a tie break, like to have the same number for every single thing like that until like four of them. So, yeah, the possibility of a tie break, I think it's going to be mm. very, very low. Mm. Okay, makes sense. There was another good question in the chat mm -hmm. for Harry. So if any of the candidates win yes. in any section, will yes. you be their second or would you want to be their second? Yeah, I think it's uh, probably, uh, I know who asked this question. I will tell him the first, <laughs> the first one when I get, come to know about it. <laughs> uh, it's too, uh, too far, too far away. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. So, are we hearing rook g6 and king is... No, what is the word king? Oh, okay, this one. No, it's okay. some, some moves happened. Okay. So, rook g6, actually king e7 and then king e3. This is the yeah. position. Okay. So, this is just... Black has nothing to try for anymore, so... We yeah. Can... Also, what's going to be interesting if there is a tie break mm. is there is no Armageddon. So you just keep playing and playing until there is a decisive result. Mm. I think there's. That's some... very interesting. Mm. I think the... Tough life for commentators. Tough life. Yeah. Oh, man. I was in Bubble. No, but, pro but probably this is okay, right? Because it will be like Blitz. So it's not so bad. Yeah. It was sure. not so bad. But if there were like 10 games, for example, I was this. I was in the tie break day uh, in Baku as a commentator. I thought, you know, every tie break day will be like a shorter, shorter day of work. But I was wrong <laughs> no. because there was one no. tie break day and it was um, Dania Bubashwena. I, I, I might pronounce the, the name wrong, but you know, the, the Iranian guy um, uh -huh. who played against Ah, Grishchuk. Daneshwar. Daneshwar yeah. versus Grishchuk. Yes, yes. yes. And it was yeah. just, I think it was like 10 games or something. Like yeah. it was the longest and then eventually Grishchuk lost. But it's just like one game after another and then draw, 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 draw. And then they, until there is like decisive result and there you go. Oh. Oof. And actually, uh, I, I remember the uh, Daneshwar was... Uh, he didn't realize when the match was over and he was ready to sit because he, <laughs> they were playing so many games. He didn't, <laughs> he didn't count which was what, yeah? So because... Uh, he was he was just sitting and waiting for the next game yeah but it's i think in, yeah but in, in this the video in this um tie break for this for these candidates yeah you go for some mini matches first if i'm not mistaken some rapid uh with certain mm -hmm. time control 15 or 10 minutes something like that and then if after the mini matches uh, you still are in the even score then you go for the playoff for the type for this mm -hmm. Uh, three minutes plus two for this, uh, yeah, tie, tie break. So until there's a decisive result. So yeah, at least okay. they're going to play rapid because otherwise it's going to be um significant <laughs> difference playing from a yeah. classical time control to mm -hmm. suddenly blitz. Yeah. Okay, I it, the game was drawn. Oh yeah, the game was drawn. Oh, it's finished. Okay, <laughs> yeah. great. Good news. Good, Good news. news. Okay, I think we've already said uh, everything Oof. that's uh, needed to be said and all the recap and the uh, next pairings for tomorrow before entering another rest day. And 
yeah, I think this is it. So before Harry officially close today's oh. show, I'd like to <laughs> I'd like to thank everyone, of course, as usual, my co-commentator Laura, and then thanks for your time again, Harry and uh, Felix. Yeah, also thank you for um, our team, our Licha's team, who is um, always you know behind the scene but always supporting us and as well as the chats on youtube and twitch so thank you so much we will be back tomorrow uh at the same time uh for round number remind me again. 10. 10 yes 10. 10. For round number 10 yeah just one more run before another free day yes of you go hurry <laughs> thank you everyone thank you my co-commentators and it was wonderful uh to comment uh, around eight and nine and uh, tune in tomorrow and see you tomorrow same time same whatever good night <laughs> or good morning or good afternoon enjoy right. thanks Beautiful. for watching bye-bye thank, thank you, you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.